he oh. fucking hello, hello. didn't read it. Bro, I told you I was I... here ages ago. Oh, so I missed that. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Ah, it doesn't matter. Good I was literally now. like crawling on my now. fucking belly, trying to plug my LED strips back in under my <laughs> shelf uh, for nice. a hot minute, but... Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I missed that. My bad. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, hey, guys. We're here. Um, OBS is working now. OBS is working, yeah. OBS crashed the first time, and the second time I hit go live, and just... Nothing. Like, it gave me the classic encoding overload error. I'm like, oh. that normally doesn't... Like, we're not even playing a video game. Yeah, Shut up. That normally <laughs> strange. But we're good now. Um, so, whatever, I guess. Oh, my camera's way too far to the right. It's fine. Keep up, deep, 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 Sorry, deep. my camera lighting literally <laughs> changes every day. So. Uh, yeah, that's just Logitech for you. To be honest. It just resets all the settings for no fucking reason. I've never had that problem. Yeah, well, you should. Because uh, you're a no life nerd. Yep. True. No life nerd. Nerd. Whoa, I'm so popular with some. It's kind of, it's kind of a vibe. <laughs> it's kind of a vibe. It's giving uh, warlock. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Shouldn't it be red though? Hey Abby, how have you been? Hello. Chatter, thank you so much for the 39 it's months as well. Gamer, appreciate you. We still miss Kai every day. I was great. Me too. Could have used Kai last week or Kai two weeks ago. Yeah, Kai got a shout out last session. True, yeah. Um, That's true. And uh, Koiba Soko, thanks for the resubs as well. Boish. Uh, yeah, so for those that missed it, uh, last week uh, we, we were alive, we did do DS, but instead of our usual campaign, we did a little one-shot uh, celebrating six years of this. Uh, that VOD is up on the YouTube as we speak. Nice. Uh, party. It was, basically, it was a crossover episode between some campaign one characters and some campaign two characters. It was a lot of fun. Uh, they went through, they got transported into a different world, which turned, you know, it was a little teaser for... What the, the the campaign three world is going to in the total Pretty reset cool. button, um, where they were believed to be fictional characters from storybooks that got brought to life by a wizard to do a quest for him, and on that quest they kind of went through this cave that had all of these callbacks and throwbacks to the previous campaign and also the current campaign. Some of their highlights, some of their lowlights, uh, having to refight some particularly important boss fights um, throughout the campaigns. Um, that is up on the YouTube if you want to watch that back. Uh, go for it. It is there. <clears throat> um, that was a good time. Today, however, we get back into mm -hmm. uh, a more serious uh, setting. Today's going to be interesting. Be <laughs> this is a of, joke campaign. It's going to be a lot of uh, just a lot of, lot of Feelings a to compartmentalize a and put on shelves and never look at again, you know? Uh, <laughs> a lot of healthy coping. A lot of I healthy love, emotional coping is gonna happen. I, I love I love bossing up my emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we get into that, uh, any announcements? Yes, uh, we've picked a day for our Halloween one-shot yes. this year, which is also going to be exciting because it's going to be raising money for charity. And it's raising money for Safe in Our World, which is a charity about mental health. Very appropriate for what's going on in our campaign at the moment currently. And um, also, if we raise a certain amount of money, there's like this really custom like potion bottle looking dice shaker that you can win. So we all will get to roll for it to see who gets it, That's cool. which will be fun. And we can do that on cam. They said if we all wanted to make our own campaigns and if we all raised enough, we'd all get one. I was like, but then I feel I felt like I would as I feel about asking viewers like pick your favorite DS member nah, and we'll donate do to like we'll their one, campaign, one you know? Thing. Yeah. I'd rather do one campaign, and we're only doing it for one day anyway. So we'll do have the one donation yeah. link up, and if we raise a certain amount, obviously, other than helping a great cause, uh, we one of us could have a chance to win should, a really um, cool ice shaker. And you'll see us fight each other. We should write up yeah. a little, a little, a little thing, a little announcement for the Discord. A that we can kind of like send yeah, yeah, yeah. as a reminder every week. To we, should, we should make it an event know. in the Discord as well. Yeah, that yeah, people can, like they're like know, interested like, hey, in we're stuff. Be raising Actually, charity, we should do that with our session. sessions in general. We should. Oh, yeah. uh, that's, that's not but, a so that's yeah. that's gonna be October twenty seventh, the last Sunday in October, Only and it's a gonna few be days before Halloween. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm gonna be the DM, so we're gonna do a tradesies, me and Dutch for DM yeah. chair, and, and I might we're not gonna be, be 
Yeah, they're going to be fourth <coughs> level characters, and they're going to be dealing with a haunting at an arcade. So it's like D and D, but in a more modern setting. And it has a lot of the adventure has a lot of uh, references, homage to like old school kitschy horror and really campy horror. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and we may, uh, if we, I'm going to read through the adventure, because I'm DMing it, obviously, and see if I can scale it up. Because, like, we have more people than I thought we were going to have, because Ethan and Belle seem pretty solid that they will be able to join us, which it's... I wasn't sure. Um, but I still would like to maybe add in a guest or two, if we can. So I will read the adventure and see what it's like, and if it's easy to upscale or for me to tweak uh, and once we get final attendance numbers, because it looks like we there's a chance we might have the full mm. DS crew. Add, which a, I also don't add wanna... a zero somewhere, or instead of four enemies, suddenly it's six enemies. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out. Or it's 40 and you kill the whole party. And we TPK. Right. So, yeah, so announcement number one, October 27th, Halloween one shot, raising money for charity, and it's going to yeah, be a lot yeah. of fun. So hey, come hang out with us. Um, and then next weekend uh, is our next Call of the Nether Deep session on my channel. So if you have been watching that, we'll see you there. If you haven't been watching it but would like to, all the episodes are on my YouTube. You can catch up uh, anytime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you watch Anyone the else? other one? I'm Once ill. Twice. Quite as little, <laughs> I'm quite ill. Quite as under the weather. <laughs> I'm, a I'm midterm sleepy. stress for like the next two weeks. I'm a little icky, so. I'll be continuing my Halloween streams tomorrow. Let's fucking go. And Finishing watch. I'm not going to watch. Ooh. Inscription is a fucking fire game. Inscription is a wild game. Love that game. It's so good. Which one's Inscription? I got to like the. The one that starts out as a card game and becomes and much more. Ah, uh, okay. I think I watched Duke, or Dutch play through that one. Yeah, it was, it was a, it's a banger of a game, dude. Banger game. Sick game. Um, <clears throat> dude, isn't the Silent Hill 2 remake out in like a day? Shit. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, in two days? Dude, I might, I might kick on the old street <laughs> machine. <laughs> Dude, the remake is made by uh, people that made Layers of Fear. I've been seeing people playing it early access, like their like opinions on it, and a lot of people are like, because apparently they gave uh, from the trailers they gave Bluber a lot of shit because it looked, I don't know, they didn't think it looked very good. And a lot yeah. of people are apologizing publicly to Bluber because they were wrong, and it is a really good game. So. <laughs> Nice. So finally, a bad trailer, but good game. Uh, I would, would rather would have that every so. time. It would appear so. Because like, usually I, we I get the opposite: that. fire trailer, then yeah. game does not deliver. <laughs> Wait, Blizzard? Do I hear Blizzard? <laughs> hey, Nintendo, be you? like. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, is a trailer for a game comes out in twelve years. Good luck. The Metro Point Four, the Metro Point Four, it's, Metro not, point not, four not experience. Not even a trailer. It's just a fucking title card. And that's... Yeah, the yeah. Metro <laughs> Point Four experience. <laughs> <laughs> God, um, yeah. Fable I mean, shit. are we, uh, we good to get into it? Oh, the so. baseball postseason is here, Yankees. Go Yankees. Let's go Yankees. <laughs> go Yankees. Clash, 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 clash. Did they pull it out last night? I pulled it out last night. <laughs> they fucking didn't. Like, <laughs> Great, so glad hand? I hmm? <laughs> Out of your hand? Like, what else are you pulling it out from? Oh. Hello. No, I pulled my penis out. Yeah, out of you, that's yes. Out of my pants, you fucking moron. <laughs> See, you that was your kind of pull up. I was thinking a different kind of pull up. Um, I thought uh, you were sitting here. I, I, and seen then I was, you were I was thinking now. you sat here proclaiming you be fucking, and we all know you ain't fucking nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Besides my hand, which is, I have to pull it out of my pants to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was on. this week's episode of Dungeon Selects. Thank you guys for pulling, watching. Dungeon, pulling Dungeon. it out. If it happens in VR chat, not the same as pulling it out. It counts. It counts in VR chat. Yeah, I guess. Pulling it out, not the same as pulling it. This guy's You're fucking being yapping, very. Dude. That's semantic. You know, we're getting into semantics. <laughs> I get that in fucking I'm English. Just saying, that was the Am I a vowel? That, that's the joke. Should huh? we play D&D? Let's, let's, let's do that. <clears throat> so. Um, last. Oh, other fun fact. It's almost the same date in real life as it is in our D&D campaign right now. Because in, in campaign, it's 11th of their version of October. 6th of October. So we almost matched up. So you're okay. saying we could only take two in-game days this today. <laughs> so that it lines up perfectly next week. Yeah. There you go. Okay. 
Um, last <laughs> we left off, you took the fight to Brixoff, deep in his lair in the uh, underground cavern, um, <clears throat> deep in the Whispering Woods. Um, after previously encountering Brixoff once before, losing Gigan and also losing Davian, uh, but Davian's loss being temporary, Gigan's loss being very much permanent. Um, very permanent. <laughs> you freed General Kron, who was imprisoned and being tortured there as well. Um, you also met a new compatriot that helped you, that aided you in the fight with Brixoff. And after the fights, and you pocketed as much treasure as you could and freed Davian, um, you, through the help of uh, Lazarin's connection to the uh, religious district, the temple in Kalzir, uh, tr got transported back, and you're back in the city. You are standing in the middle of this, this large chapel with a bunch of different altars all around, devoted to different deities, but you're standing right in front of the one dedicated to Joaquin. And the majority of you fell, probably not so much, but the majority of you are filled with a feeling of exhaustion, loss, mourning, but also dread. Or you know that even though you currently have a window of respite, it is very much just that, a window. Something bigger is coming. What would you like to do? I don't like that. Mm -mm. Um, are we cutting We're in? The temple, right? Are we cutting in just as I've come back? Yeah, you. Uh, uh, from the last like from the anniversary episode. No, this is okay. this is prior. This is prior to that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then next time we basically long rest, you'll wake up with that weird feeling of I feel like I had a weird dream, and that was the. Well, no, it was it was more the the because obviously like you guys were, like fucking just staring at me in the temple district. Mm -hmm. we ended. Oh yeah. Well, I was gonna yeah, say I thought yeah. we ended it with us tem yeah. temple. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah. The, the last sure. note from last session is uh, Lazarin bamps us back yeah. to Kelsier. That's that's the last thing that happened. No, I meant whatever. What? Oh, no, don't okay. worry, don't worry. I'm, uh, don't worry. Just like you're you're currently in the in the, in the temple and and you're all just kind of like freshly bamfed in. Um, okay. What's everyone doing? What do you feel? What do you want to do? Uh, oh, just like are we taking a night off and resting, or we should we tell the powers that be that we're back and get dismissed? We'll find out what we have to do next. Um, well, I do need to put this robot somewhere. Um, okay. We should check in then. And I will cast sending. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll send to the Empress. Um, and just be like, Brixoth is dead. Uh... You wanted to talk, where should we meet? Um, takes a couple seconds, but you get a reply. Let's save that for the morning. Get some rest. She says she'll talk to us in the morning, so I guess we can rest up, but we should find a place for the to put that jokes. Oh, well, we could just go to the guild hall for the heroes of exile. No. Yeah. That sounds good. You all start to start. head to the exit. Head over. Yeah. Yep. As you're all marching to the exit, you look back and you suddenly see a Lazarin just kind of standing. Maybe he maybe moving like ten feet before kind of just stopping his movement. Mm -hmm. You all kind of look back at him from. And he's just kind of standing there, eyes open. Like the lights are home. Uh, lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> he's just kind of standing there. Almost like as if in very deep thought. I'll turn to the other two and go, 
Is this normal for him? Does he do this a lot? No, usually he just sneaks off. Oh, good. Excellent. And I'll walk over to him. No uh, response. Lazarin? And, and this kind of <clears throat> keeps on for, for a good few minutes. <clears throat> As you all kind of gather back around him and just kind of try and snap him out of it. Eventually, Elazarin, you you do kind of Ooh. regain consciousness, and you have a this, this strange feeling, as if you had a very intense dream. For some reason, you can't remember it, yet you feel like something <clears throat> important happened. The only thing you do realize when you kind of back to your senses is a feeling of that, despite all the bad things that happened, Valor's betrayal, uh, Dagon's death. You do realize that you and your friends are turning the tide. You are winning the fight. And you kind of harken back to reading storybooks where things tend to get very bad or they can be turned around. You kind of realize that <clears throat> you're currently in that spots of your story where things we've hit an all-time low but we're slowly turning things around now sort of just sort of shake my head rub my like rub my face Ooh. all right we're going on then while we're standing here <clears throat> did something happen oh, i think i just got lost in thought <sighs> God, so tired. You know, just a lot's happened. Oh, it's um, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's get out there. Well, I'm Robot body back up. Late. Start heading out, I guess. Head over to the guild hall. Um, Davian. Yeah. <clears throat> Now that you're freed, <clears throat> but knowing that you've basically been magically kept under for at least a full, like, day, maybe a little longer, it's a bit iffy on exactly how long you've been down there. You make me a history check. Oh, 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 it's not good. <laughs> uh, six. Six? You kind of... Um, while following the group, you your mind is kind of racing, trying to see if you can recall anything. Like, subconsciously trying to recall anything that happened during the time that you were put under. The only thing... You, 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 you remember before you went under was the fact that <clears throat> not only Brixoth was there, but also a Pale Cutter, the, the White Dragon. And you saw mm -hmm. his um, visage uh, very briefly. And there's, well, there, was, there, were, there was one other thing <clears throat> you vaguely remember. Um, mm -hmm. you remember that a few hours after you, uh, initially got, got knocked out, knocked unconscious, put under, there was not a conversation, this time strictly between the individual with the gold mask, who you deem, who you believe is, is Tiamat, right? Mm-hmm. With just Rixoth, or Valor, whatever you want to call him. And they mentioned that with your group being on the mission that you are, the artifacts hidden in Nazarg's lair require extra protection. I don't remember what 
those artifacts are, but you vaguely remember and you got the sense that maybe they didn't expect you to succeed so far. But now that you've shown that you are very capable of killing these dragon generals, they seem to want to beef up the security, especially in Nazarg's lair, because they're they're guarding some pretty important things there. Okay. Wait, which which one? The black dragon. Which one was Nazarg? Black the dragon. black. Oh, that's fun. Okay. You try your best to try and recall, like, if they mentioned what those artifacts were and, and what they did, but that... <clears throat> Man, I wonder what's going on with the override right now. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. Remember well. that, guys? Mm -hmm. not, not until just now. No, I remember. What's back is my character... Actually, does my character know about that, Dutch? Was that yeah, part of got, the, got, the info, yeah, info yeah. dump my patron gave me? Okay, cool. <laughs> but never mind. I totally know what we're talking about. <laughs> well, I was out of character. I don't even know that. Part I know about that. <laughs> While we're walking back to the hall, I'm like, uh, just talking with Jax about how, because Jax said he could potentially merge like the staff of power with my staff, so that I could still have my my driftwood pearl vibe to it. So I'm just talking about like aesthetics and how to do that and being like this is the important part i want to keep this part and just like having that kind of conversation yeah jex is like kind of paying attention but also like you can tell he's like kind of like just keeping yeah. it up because it's like yeah he's like half there you know yeah fair you <clears throat> you went to the heroes of exile guild hall yeah all of you together mm -hmm. okay. yeah i do believe so as you Enter the premises. Um, it seems there's not a lot of people there. You enter and you hear the the loud banging of pots and pans coming from the kitchen. Other than that, the place seems near abandoned. It seems that everyone else is kind of away. Well, seems like there's going to be lots of room. Shouldn't have trouble finding a place to stay. I'm assuming you all already have rooms. That would be a correct assumption. Uh. I doubt Kess is going to use her room. She can use that one. Perfect. I'll be in the workshop if you guys need me. Just start trucking along over there. Yeah, as you want. <clears throat> what are you specifically going to be working on? Oh, nothing. This is from sleep tonight. Oh, okay. Got you, got you. <laughs> as you all enter down. and you kind of look around, uh, eventually uh, you see this this short uh, dwarven uh, lady kind of uh, enter the the hallway from the living room and then towards the kitchen. Oh! Wasn't expecting uh, people. Um, yeah, so... Everyone else is kind of away right now. I believe a couple of them are due back tonight. Um, so uh, hopefully they're expecting any of the, 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 the you know, the higher ups. Um, it, it might be, be better to, to, to try and, and get a hold of them tomorrow. Um, the only people in right now is um, that elven lady. Um, She's, she's with those Gith Yankees. They're working on something uh, downstairs. Uh, other than that, it's just me. Um, good. That would be amazing. That would be lovely, actually. All right, well, I'm working on a nice hearty beef stew. So uh, give me about amazing. 30 minutes and I'll, uh, I'll have some plates set for you. Remind me, uh, really bad with names, it's the age. Who are you again? She just kind of points at Bell. Oh, I'm new here, so we haven't met. Uh, I'm Thalxinui. Hey, um, well, I'm sure it's fine as long as you're these guys. Um, I am. 
for now. Dietary things I should be aware of. Um, not a fan of seafood. Other okay. than that, eat pretty much anything. Okay. Good. Not much seafood goes around here, being that we're in the desert and all. So you'll be fine then. Rather perfect. All right, yeah, uh, 30 minutes, uh, and then I'll have some plates set for you uh, in the dining room. Mm -hmm. She dives back into the kitchen. So, all right. Uh, do you want to point me in the direction of this Cass's room, or should I just go find it myself? Uh, I will point to where it is, and just look like yeah, it's, I think it's that <laughs> one. It's up on the stairs, you know. I can. I feel like you guys need a minute, but you know where to find me. My headcan is off. just that, like everyone here, I don't know don't. claimed like the old room of their C one character. You know what I mean? Like, Kinda. Oh. Hell no, I ain't living that shit old Nicole lived in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna yeah, say you wouldn't be able to either though, because Nicole's a crematory Yeah, yeah that bare bones motherfucking place. God so damn. Has two rooms I hear he wiped his ass on the wall. I do, I do have two <laughs> rooms. <laughs> I'm also a thousand percent rearranging Kess's shit to like Long. my liking while I'm oh, in there. Oh, oh. If she has any shit in there, moving it all no, around. Probably not. I think she keeps She's gonna love it. That's Dude, is it, okay. vessel, right? So it's actually probably pretty bare bones, but... Wait, is it like when you move into a college dorm and, like, the, the roommate's in there, but they've already put their stuff across, like, the whole room? Yeah. And you, like, slowly and moving it away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, is there anything you guys want to do or talk about or do anything uh, or do all collect food? I'd like to summon Onu. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Big old fireplace in the living room for you to do Poor your, uh, you know, you to do your thing. Yeah, as a dog, since we're. Oh. As you uh, summon Onu, he kind of can't. Like, even though he's not a real dog, right? There's, it's, it's, <laughs> it's this, it's this, this spirit. Hey, I got, I got. Speak with. There is uh, some of these, like uh, almost uh, animalistic instincts. Where yeah. he sees you. last last he saw you, you were, you know, in a bad spot. Um, so as soon as he locks eyes with you, he kind of lets slip of his um, primordial uh, and goes like full dog moment, like jumps into your arms and is happy to see. You. Oh, that's cute. And and that's kind wholesome. of wholesome. You can see kind of this like shift in 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 attitude when suddenly he realizes what he's doing and he's just kind of like <laughs> back off of you, and sits there and. It's like, well, that's embarrassing. Well, I will cast Speak with Animals anyway, since I have a once per long rest. Where, where, where have you been? What was it? Where'd you go? What was it like? Where have you been? <laughs> um, not sure. One moment I was there, and the next moment suddenly. Not. You're you're back. Did did you experience time in the? Oh, you weren't here. Like like I've eagerly. Right. Days have passed. I reckon. Yeah, something like that. I was sort of knocked out. For the most of it. You get it I got carried off by the dragon in uh in Lazarus stead, so I think we both had a bit of a bit of an adventure, right? Get him. Yeah. Not not without, you know, it costing us something. We do have a new friend around though. Uh smells like the ocean. Yeah, yeah, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. I honestly don't have much more of an impression than that myself so far, but apparently the elemental lords or whatever deemed it necessary that he helped us out. So, yeah, probably wouldn't go amiss. We're about to have some really nice food, so I'll make sure to save you some. And, uh, 
I'm sure everyone will be stoked to see you. I think Elazar knows you. After that, that trip out there. It's my duty. Well, I'll leave that for him to decide. Good to have you back. And I'll, uh, you know, give him some scratches and pats and. Oh, he does like well, a little thing where you hit just the right spot and his like one of his back balls just goes leg. <laughs> his legs going. <laughs> Love that. That that's <laughs> happening. I'm just in a chair like opposite, like watching Davian fucking make dog noises at Onu. Yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> excellent. <laughs> ah yes. But All I'm like unless I mean I don't think like one of those I assume this probably some like fucking granddad chair or some shit. He's yeah. fucking like passing the fuck out in one of those like just every now and again just nods go fucking I'm here, I'm awake. It's like, I need a long nap. Yeah, I need a, I need a, it's nap time, but I gotta wake up because it's food. Yep. Fucking Onu, like, hops up onto your fucking lap and just, I give you know, just... licks your face a little bit, you know, like, no, and you know it's not like... gross. <laughs> yeah. Because he's still just like... been, he's not licked his asshole yet since yeah. he was conjured yeah. from the nether. There so... you go. It's, it's no, it's not cleanest, gross, but it's still. Cleanest it's, you're gonna get. It still feels gross. It's just in a way because it's. So natural Dog respect. mouths are cleaner than human mouths. Yeah. Facts. Yet they smell like shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm, <laughs> dude, my dog has the worst breath. Dude, you're like, mm, it's dog bad. breath. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> um, um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll accept the toast face and try and just like get me to lie down. And I'll give him big pet. I'll, you know, I'll check, I'll check the, uh, check the I'll take some roll of like emotional support dog. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> He's not. He's he's not the Milo of the group. Like, <laughs> he's, he's the, next, if, the next best thing to having emotional support druid. If, emotional if, support dog. If that's the case, when they do that thing, when they just like they lay on you to make sure you don't move because you're like really fucked up. Just only just doesn't move for like a week. <laughs> I'm just there like, oh no, I need to move. <laughs> oh no, never moves <laughs> ever again. Yeah, like I gotta go. Who's just wait down he's on like, your nope, lap like no. You, you need to stay here for a bit. I'm like, oh no, I you're gotta move. Right Food's ready. <laughs> I'll give it a year. Yeah, give it a year, just like, um, <laughs> As the uh, the sound of uh, uh, pots and pans being slammed around in the kitchen, uh, Hilda's very aggressive. Of course. It's an aggressive chef. <laughs> What's the fucking um, scene from High School Musical 2? That, that's where all the flavor comes from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's that combined with some armpit sweat, maybe. Um, but, you know. Stop. Stop. Uh, thanks. Yummy. No, she uh, eventually preps the there's this like dinner uh table set in this separate room adjacent to the living room that is normally kind of reserved for the uh you know the important the higher people. ups the important people <laughs> but since no one's here she just sets that table for you guys and gets it already uh, hey we're the important people right now come on <laughs> that's true um davian eventually you kind of hear some 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 sound coming from the stairs that go down and you see emerging from the basement is <clears throat> Celesti with about three or four oh. uh Gith Yankee. And and she oh looks eyes with you and, and just kind of her eyes widen and immediately kind of just like sprints towards you and kinda of goes for this like jump oh, bug. Oh yeah, except scared. now we're practically seeing fucking eye to eye because I've grown like ill yeah, what my, was I, it? I, I imagine I now. imagine you're, now, you're like a you're you're like, like sitting inches, down right? by the fireplace, but like as you get up, she's like You Huh? It was like five inches, right? Something like that. It was like ten. Ten inches. Yeah, yeah. I, I went I went from I went from like five oh, six. six to six four, I think. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. remember you being this tall. Yeah, it's um a tall tale. <laughs> uh yeah, magic. Huh. Wasn't really voluntary, but you know, here we are. Huh. I can get used to it. <laughs> uh, how, how how have you guys been? Uh, how was it? <laughs> It's a uh, deal breaker. She's like short kings only. I was Frankly, say, she's like, uh oh. <laughs> I don't remember how tall she was, but she might still be taller than me, to be honest. Uh, I could. You guys made her into a character sheet, right? I can put that on. Yeah. On might, uh, I don't remember if I put it on the sheet. Six. I think she might be just over six foot, but I don't remember. Big old Triton lady. Yep. I think she's. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Whoa. 
is in I the I think he's in the campaign space. I have no idea. That's where I, I don't know. I don't know. Red card, are you sure? Um <laughs> Celesti. She is seven foot seven. Fucking Imagine. <laughs> How old is she? No, uh, she is. Hold on. Looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm six foot five. I'm just not to put it on. There you go. So she, she is one She's inch. Taller. Five. She's okay. Yeah. One All right. inch. <laughs> so yeah, like you going from being basically a foot shorter than her to being about equal is like huh. mm. almost eye level. <laughs> Yeah, how, uh, how did everything go? You, you really it? terribly, but we killed a dragon, so I suppose that's what counts. Oh, I mean, that's good. Um, so, how long do you think you'll be around before you have to go on your next epic a quest day? to save the world? I don't even know. Would you make it? I don't know. Do? I don't know. <laughs> I can fucking try. It's the thing is, the thing is, uh, this is for everyone. Um, but tomorrow, apparently, um, the tavern in town, the Hog's Belly, uh, is celebrating its 100th anniversary because the place has been around for 100 years. And there's this big celebration with cheap drinks and games to play, yeah. and it might be fun. And you guys, look, well, you look terrible, but I feel like you could use Great. just some fun, you know? Keep well, mind off things. if you're if you're telling me this, then I can only assume that the big man upstairs is suggesting that we have a little day of R and R. I don't know. So, I'm this sure the we'll be happy to belly. oblige. It's the same tavern where you guys fought Krampus way back when. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Good old bag man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if uh, you know. You guys, you guys could use a little break before you go on your next adventure that could get you all killed. Um, plus, <clears throat> listen, the Gith, they're cool and all, but they're not really the company I would keep for fun times. And drinking alone <laughs> is kind of boring, so it'd be cool if you know you could rally the troops and we could all go together. Yeah, I, 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 I think we have like one one thing to take care of tomorrow, and then I'm sure. Okay. We'll be able to go down. I think this. Uh, I think this is this this event is starts in the morning, but goes through the entire day and even into the night. So we got plenty of time. I think, like what? I think I think I think beer might just only be a silver. And I think they. Bills are like maybe four or five silver, all of them. Time to we get, get wasted. We just have so four much Four silver money. cocktails. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Sign so me fucking, up. Is the weather spoon pictures? I, just... I could buy 320,000 fucking beers. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so um, <laughs> just, just let me know uh, when you guys want to go. and um, Drink and drive. Well, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I feel like... I want to ask and pry and, you know, oh, it went terrible, but you won. But I also feel like, I don't know. No, it's It'll all, we'll, you'll figure it out. Okay. Who's the new chick? Oh, hi. And I'm going to say the following in Primordial, specifically the Aquan dialect, seeing oh. that she's a Triton, just to see if she knows it. Um, and say, uh, yeah, oh, uh, name, name's Thelxinui, friends call me Thal, or they would if I had any friends. Nice to meet you. Oh, wow. Um, I have not flexed this particular language muscle in a while. Nice to meet you. Um, so don't get me wrong. But usually when new people show up, it means... Something didn't go so well for someone else. Pretty much. And she'll like direct her attention to the other people in the room. Who did we lose? Uh, uh that one is uh, sleep. 
by the way, at this point. Like, oh, he, I was like, well, you'll he's, notice oh, he's in the chat. Just he's gone. Yep. He's just like. And if, if they hesitate to answer, say, "Will you notice there's a distinct <laughs> lack of haunting around the place now?" I'm so oh. glad I'm not out there. I'm so glad I'm not out there. Holy shit! Uh, no offense. I'm not like, saying it's a bad thing. Look at look at Davian since allows me to sleep. Hmm. I'm really sorry for, for that. Yeah, second was, time. Yeah. See, when we first met, she was a tabaxi. Then we mm. met again a few, like a little time after, and she was a ghost. And mm -hmm. now we meet again. She's gone. It sucks. And not in the storybook wholesome resolution ghost move on to the afterlife type of way either so i figured yeah if um if you or anyone else group needs anything i'm kind of you know, you know obviously i'm still doing research with with the gif and, and the crash and all that but uh if you guys need me for anything let me know Unfortunately, I think what we need more than anything else is time that we can't be afforded uh, until after this is all over. Well, I mean, a stiff so, drink isn't going to hurt. It sounds like there's going to be plenty of that tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I mean, there's, <clears throat> you know, putting a, putting a plaster on a missing limb isn't exactly going to heal it, though, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't... I've never really been in a position where I got close enough to people to really... Some, so this is a new thing for me as well. Even though I'm not as close or wasn't as close to her as you guys were. It still... still fucking sucks. I mean, life's much simpler if you can keep it that way, to be honest. So, good on you. Hmm. I didn't say better, I just said simpler. Miss out on a lot of good things living that way and try I've yeah. lived that way for a while. Just said simpler, not better. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um <clears throat> uh I need to go do some shopping for a couple of things. I'll be around here tonight. Uh well, you know, where to find me. She gives you a good old peck and then leaves out the door. And the gif uh, go back downstairs. Eventually, some time passes uh, as you guys are kind of being summoned for food. Um, there's this, this, this. There's now a couple of non um, gif involved, except for Celesti with with, with this little side project. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of the notable things you see an elven lady kind of emerge. Um, she doesn't really introduce herself because she immediately like, kind of like go comes up the stairs and immediately just beelines it for for the door. Um, but she looked S strange. Might not be uh, the right word, but it didn't look like any other elves you've ever seen. She had this this, this almost this vibrant purple skin, very much these elven features like the pointy ears and that, um, wearing. <clears throat> Clothing that also seems very foreign, not from here. <clears throat> uh, other than that, uh, it seems that <clears throat> a couple other people uh, you see an Arakokra um, come up. Well, fun. And. Davian, in particular, you recognize uh, her, as this is the same Arakokra you met during your time at the, the guild in uh, um, Eldilon. Eldilon. Yeah, the, the cartography guild. Uh, this is not mm. the, the guild master, but this is uh, his, his protege. His niece. Oh, yeah! His niece. Well, we were going to help, going and then and never ended yeah. up helping. It's, uh, his niece. And then dragons attack. She, she, like, quickly, like... <laughs> 
goes a wave your way and then leaves out the door as well. But yeah, you what an interesting more. cast of characters we rub shoulders with on a day to day. Is Elijah gonna wait for the food? Uh yeah, we assume there'd be some sort of food bell or something, and that'd be time. Like, oh, Hilda will just like approach you if you're still sleeping while she's set plates on the table. She'll just like approach your chair and do the old double pan. What is food? Boom. Oh. Yeah. I, 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 I see the. It's just like I just also imagine only me of like food and sleep. It's the, yeah. yeah, fucking sc <laughs> scramble yes. off your yeah. lap. I'm like, oh. I'm up. Classic, well, like dogs, and they're like yeah. somehow all elbows whenever they try yeah. and like yeah. get off. <laughs> Like, always hit, like, just the world. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Squishes, but you're like, ow. Oh. oh. It's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. He um, goes back to the kitchen. Oh. Is that say anything? No, not really. Oh, sorry, man. I'll trudge to food. <laughs> so Jax will probably show it back up now, too, with all that noise. Mm hmm you all gather at the dining table and there's this very uh generous portion of it's very very hearty beef stew like there's there's more more meat than liquid in this in this bowl like it's a, it's a lot of, a lot nice. of meat uh mm -hmm. and it's it's served with some bread and like a small salad on the side as well anything you guys would like to discuss or or, or do while you have your food i was just i just spent the last like two or three days or something asleep. So watching watching you conk out in a nap is almost like inconceivable for me at this point. I don't know. The last thing on my mind right now. Mm. Uh, so are we going to this party thing tomorrow? Or are we immediately going to Dragon Number Three? What's what's the plan? There's a party tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, a tavern in town, hundredth anniversary, big party, cheap cheap booze. Super cheap. That we, we go to that. Well, we are, we are, we have to go see someone about something, right? Oh, well, we do. <laughs> but we don't. We'll probably. I'm sure the party will probably won't start till the afternoon. Oh. I mean, yes, not in this place. Yeah, we have to do that. I think it's like find a whole out. day thing. So we just have to find out what we're doing, really. What the next plan is. I mean, yeah, we get the, you know, let them know the dragon's dead. Get the, the plan. Hoping. I'm hoping we get a little bit more rest point than a few days. Oh, I doubt. More than a few days is a lot to ask. I mean, how many is a few? At least three, right? At least three. Yeah. I wouldn't count on it. I know. We'll probably, we'll probably be traveling hungover after whatever party. Oh, who ended up with Bricksoft's visage, by the way? It's me. It's attached to... Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. It's attached to... Mm -hmm. um... That one's back. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, we, are, we need to know what supplies we're going to be needing as well. And all that, so... Oh, I don't we're, want to We need to restock on just about everything, I think. I think so. Shopping trip with a, with a dragon's hoard worth of money. So I think it's probably better to get rid of it than it is to keep it on ourselves. Oh, yeah, no, of course it is. We need... I mean, it's just heavy to carry around. Not all of us enjoy getting our daily exercise by carrying around weighted money bags. Looks at a Lazarin. No, I even my out, so you know it's not actually that heavy. The net weight is less well, strange. It would still be very much like wearing a weighted vest. You're such a bellow. Yeah, don't enjoy. Never a fan. I'm surprised your pockets haven't given out. Oh. You know. I assumed. I know the red, you just see the massive bulge in the side of like <laughs> Elazar's burlap, which is where like the dragon's horn is, and like he has not put any of that dragon's horn money like in any of the other pouches. They're still fine, and like got like two hundred gold in them. But you just see this massive like fucking bulge, <laughs> just like. So I'm pretty sure want... the bag of holdings like at capacity right now. Yeah, it's like I wonder mm -hmm. where the dragon hoard money could be. Mm, is it in this pocket? <laughs> Hind door number two. Yeah. Um, so, Thel, what's your story? Oh, me, sorry. I'm distracted. <laughs> it's been, been a while since I 
have kind of been around. Oh, I'm just going to be honest. It's been a while since I've been around men. It's a little disconcerting. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, was was living with a group of all women druids. Uh, chosen to become new champion of water for new elemental lord of water because issue with the last one and pretty quickly sent here didn't have a lot of time really not a lot of acclimating or onboarding to the job I mean this is a lot of responsibility did you guys live like underwater or oh they didn't they very much lived on land but you, you did. Before. I wasn't always a human. That's probably some missing information. What? Oh. Huh? <laughs> uh, also why I spent limited time around men in this context. Uh, used to be a siren. Traded siren for human and powers. Terrible idea. And then... Powers taken away. Even worse idea. Because even as a siren, I still had some magic. Having no magic was fucking terrible. And then got offered to have magic again. To be... Paid, or to be the new... The new go-girl for Sochellis, so... Why you? Simple. <laughs> <laughs> we did ask so many the questions. I mean, like, we did ask, like, the TLDRs, like, hey, what's your no. business? You can't exactly no. be like, well, <laughs> when I was seven, I only liked purple crayons. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know. You know, fucking... When I was eight, I liked red crayons. <laughs> yeah. Why? It's like, why me? I mean, yeah, your you? guess is as good as mine there, Sparky. I don't know. Come from water, like water, always had magic. Um, hate, uh, have a personal beef with someone he also has beef with, so... Checks out. Who? And the beef? Who was the beef? Water witch bitch. Cow, was it? No, water witch bitch. Uh, Umberly. Kind of cow. Mm. Yes, actually. Funnily enough, I think we pissed her off as well. Maybe that's why. There you go. Fit right in. Maybe they thought it would be some easy free bonding or something. You know, the I enemy. Mean, my enemy is my friend and all that. I mean, sure. the sort sort of being one of the chosen of them. Elemental Lords is sort of within our remit of <clears throat> connection. Interesting, interesting upgrade to go from luring sailors onto rocks to fighting dragons to save the world. Much prefer luring them to the bottom of the depths than onto the rocks, personally. Well, the rocks are the ship smash, right? I mean, isn't that the whole... I prefer just getting them to jump off their ship. And then the ship would just aimlessly wander. Fucking the the look that Alasin just gives Daffy and now is like, whoa. whoa. Sometimes the ship would sink, <laughs> other times the ship would drift Holy and have tabs on it for days. And eventually, sometimes some pirates would find it and be like, oh my god, free ship. And that was always really funny. Right. So, Did you odd. fuck up a lot of trade vessels or? Oh, that you end up in really this discriminate profession. per se. After the That's sort funny. of mindless killing of you know the likes of which you're sort of trying to save now it is a really fun flip like i said go from uh exclusively killing a group of people to now working with them most of the time it's very strange um how i mean i i made a mistake and saw a chance to make a deal, thought it would be an upgrade, and wasn't, pretty much. Plus, you know, you do one thing for a few hundred years, it gets kind of boring eventually. Hmm. What? <laughs> to be fair, I guess it's not that far off from me turning from a pirate to this. So... Well, Jax, I was just going to say, you were... You know, a, a, a seafaring man for quite a long time. How do you feel about sitting opposite um, the play of a your... siren? Yes. Clearly, I never bothered him. He's still here. Or you just weren't that good. Hmm. Where did you inhabit? 
Not all over. Sometimes I stayed close to Agrand, sometimes a little closer to this neck of the woods, you know. We're not really locked to one place. Oceans are big. Lot to see. God, I hate her. <laughs> oh. I mean, she's not wrong. All right, anyway. Whatever, we're on the same side now. I thought it might be a lot more entertaining to stoke the flames of some sort of, uh, I don't know, beef, I guess, but it's not really worth it, is it? Do we have enough conflict? I figured you'd be stoking a different flame tonight now that you're back on the same place as your girlfriend over there. Yeah, well, um, you know, got a lot on my mind. Not sure. And that clearly seems like something that would be very beneficial and relaxing, helping get well, we'll see. a load I mean, off your mind. I, I think tomorrow might things. be the better opportunity uh, after several strong drinks and uh, also true. The death <laughs> of our dear friend, the permanent, more permanent death of our dear friend, sort of put behind us in some sort of way. Uh, that's what starts crying. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it got, it bro, it got mentioned. I mean, to fucking tears <laughs> instantly. Just <sighs> no sound, but you dick just bonk. <laughs> yep. I just do a really awkward. There, there. Like, Jax, Jax will hand him a handkerchief. Trying to be empathetic. Yes, thank you. Sorry, just a bit. Just a. This was lovely, and I like no matter how much like Stuart's left, that Lassen's just gonna go up to his roof. <laughs> he leaves. He's like, "This was this was lovely." I'm just gonna, yeah, something in the air. I kind of, kind of. Yeah. Well, I definitely think we need to take tomorrow because that man is not ready to set out. He needs at least forty eight hours. Oh, he... well, I was hoping for maybe a little more time. He's I take all just, the time you need. Uh, he's been in a state not far from that for like the past few months, to be honest. This is like the stick that broke the camel's back. And the camel was there. already paralyzed, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Not to say that Jax and I aren't deeply emotionally moved by the loss of our friend, but... Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I think what about, I, what I about your other two private. I think the whole the whole valor thing might have also been uh, and then there was also uh well having to sort of grapple with the fact that he was sold to a church uh that then turned out to sort of ruin his entire existence and spend the next however long on the road constantly looking over his shoulder while people who knew he was because he was part of some secret organization we're trying to kill him and and then he sort of kept wandering off as if he really was trying to be killed which we probably should have sort of dealt with the root of the thing and not the fact that he was wandering off but more like why do you keep wandering off man like do you want to die and then he probably you know we might have been able to figure that out Is but to be on uh, on uh, on the list we need to put him on some sort of watch well i i think we can ask that now are your other two friends gonna be as to high risk as this when they join us again? More uh, so. Mm, not in the same way. One is a and one likes to blow alcoholic, up. and the other one is Brooks. I heard about so... that. <laughs> Honestly, a little disappointed he's not here. I'd been intrigued to meet the person I've heard these stories about. Yeah, he's a real, he's a riot. You know, just a great time. I just mean, you know, I've met met quite a few men in my hundreds of years. I don't think I've ever met one that stupid. I'm just so impressed. That is a very low bar. Have you met Nicole? <laughs> what the no. hell? He was actually turned to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he walks in and just to flip you off and leaves. <laughs> he just has a sense when he's being bullied. He just knows. <laughs> He is. He is that fucking song. He, 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 he can astral project whenever someone talks shit about him. Yeah. From the big blue bully well, to the big blue bullied. Yes. <laughs> well, hopefully, 
they return more. soon, aside from the extra manpower, it'll be nice to have a little more female energy and something nice to look at. Not that you're not. Oh, you, hold you know. on. You say Jax is no... I mean, he's a... Look at him. Just look across huh? the table at Jax. He's like... <laughs> Absentmindedly drooling on herself. <laughs> <laughs> look over, he's having a heart attack. You're like, see, look, is he the pinnacle of health? You know what? <laughs> now we're good. 33. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh. No, it's just, no, it's no, just, no. just, <laughs> just a little angina. It's fine. <laughs> and where's my tubs? <laughs> Well, to be honest, very much excited for some drinks tomorrow. A little bit of levity, try and lighten the mood a little bit. Yeah, just we'll just have to keep an eye on Elijah, unfortunately. Clearly, watered uh, down uh, drinks for him. No, maybe uh, towards the end of the night, perhaps. Or he only really drinks wine. And I think wine, wine masks a lot of flavors. That could be a good thing. I think usually Sneak some uppers just... in there, you know. <laughs> well, see, now we're leaning in possibly more enabling direction than helping. But sure, sneak some uppers in Elazarin's wine and watch him enter a weeks-long manic episode um, that. We would have put that much in there, come on. Well, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying we put that much in. I'm just saying you know, camel's back. Already broken, what's the harm? Stamping on it won't help. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I I'm just I mean look. I love a Lazarin. I wouldn't have saved his life if I didn't. But at the same time, having done so, I feel like somehow that also weighs more heavily on his conscience uh, than if I hadn't. It's a tricky thing. Yeah. You know, survivor's guilt and all that. Quite a few of the sailors will talk about it when we leave one left on the ship to go tell the story. Kess was like wild stories, right? And you're like, oh, that's probably not true. This is like <laughs> heinous shit. You're like, this is a hundred percent true. <laughs> like, there's no this like. Is, this is just straight sociopath. Sorry. Yeah, you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I need to keep like a 24 hour watch on this. Or... <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> you got I'm seeing red flags like, pop up, you know, man. She knows one of the higher ups. She's kind of in she's, there. Again, she's not here Oh, she's a Nepo hire. She really is. <laughs> this was already, we've already got fucking one Nepo baby. We don't need another. Oh. Cass. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not here, but you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. You didn't want to talk okay? IRL? No, He's I was like, bird. sitting... <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Slurred speech. Oh, your arm, how's your arm doing? <laughs> His face is drooping. <laughs> oh no. Jesus. Just role play. Just role play. <laughs> <laughs> He's yes, real actually. deep in. Just role, He's play. <laughs> Just role play. Never go full old man. Just role play. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. Anyway, I am going to go take my wonderful dog for a walk because I just got all this energy and also really need to stretch my legs. And <coughs> it's been a while. Oh, fucking no. Uh, we'll say it's even time. Because we took like a long rest after the dragon fight, but mostly because we were just fucking needed it. It's, so it's it should be like afternoon because we then teleported uh, here like early morning. Then we had some downtime. Now we've had food. DM says it's early evening. Okay, cool. Great. <clears throat> and Love that. Din -dins. Obviously, the sun is still very much there. Yep. So. There isn't really a lot to redecorate 
in uh, Little Blue's room. Can I come on the walk too? I'm bored. Sure. Um, just you please to try to avoid talking so much about. On those? Pardon? It, would oh. you like to leave me with your staffs? I can work on oh, them? absolutely. That'd be fantastic. Right. And I don't mind. Right. I don't mind, you know, contributing some of my um, part of the dragon hordes if I, if there's materials you need or anything. Never let it be said I'm not fair. I will let you know. Well, run me a tab. I'm taking all this bitch's money. <laughs> 10,000 gold, and that's just like... Hold uh, up. Comes up with an invoice, and this is for labor, and yeah. this is... Uh, we have the specific... best quality uh, ingredients. I specifically will need to... Um, I'm checking my spells to make a list for tomorrow. If this is the magic fee. Shopping. Yeah. Because I need to know this... how much money I need to keep on me to go buy spell components. For later. This is my red flag fee. <laughs> This is your. Uh... This is my drowning sailor's fee. Yeah, yeah for every sailor, it's like <laughs> five gold. It's just in the fucking hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I'm guessing since it's early evening, most shops and stuff are closed right now. It's bizarre, right? It's sort of like desert. Are so they like, open late? Like, can I do some late. shopping? Can um, I do some shopping now? On the, just for materials, nothing fancy. Like, yeah, I mean, quick, there's, yeah, the go... shops are open like until like. Uh, later hours of the evening. Uh, okay. Gets dark I need... quite late uh, over here. Um, okay, I'm just looking at anything that has a gold cost, because therefore I need to buy it, and my focus is not enough. Mm -hmm. Also, I can... I also need to stop and find a brass brazier as well. Uh, there'll be one to, you know, you pay to use at yeah, yeah, yeah. Arcana and, and I can Orium. do that as well. I think only one of my spells I need, other than that, I need to buy anything, so this should be pretty chill. Okay, yeah, we're cool. Oop. Right. So with your staffs, so you just wanted, like, that one piece basically attached to the staff. Yeah, basically the pearl okay. is the important part, because the pearl is her spellcasting focus, so, like, okay. she needs that. The driftwood is obviously the, just the the water motif, and I'd like the staff to still have that, but if all we can do that through is via the pearl, then that's fine. <clears throat> I'll work my magic. We'll see what we can do. Okay. You're welcome to- Hang yeah, on. the driftwood is just regular non-magical driftwood. You can break it up and, and cut it up into smaller pieces, Jax? do whatever you want with it. Yes, sir. Can you make me a tinker? Oops. Yep, and before I do it, I'm gonna cast Enhance Ability on myself. Just cause... Smart. Just cause. Just cause. Wait, hold on. I need to check which ones I get like a D4 on. I can't remember if it's the smithing or the tinker tool. I've already done this in so long. Wait, I'm Smith's tool, sorry. Um, that is a total of 19. Okay. You managed to take the Staff of Power and wear... Uh, second. But the Staff of Power is a pretty plain-looking staff. It is just this, this blackish, uh, maybe a dark gray kind of long staff with some engravings and some kind of like decorative uh, uh, outcroppings uh, along uh, towards the top. What you manage to do is you <clears throat> take the driftwood from the staff and you kind of at the beginning kind of replace a section of the metallic uh, metallic material and put in a piece of the driftwood to kind of have it have there be a centerpiece in the actual staff itself that is made of driftwood that immediately you know copies the engraving and the, the enchantment stays intact you manage to do that and with the rest of the driftwood you kind of just make this like decorative kind of swirling pattern that leads to uh, the top and then on top of that you manage to kind of flatten the uh pointy uh, end 
that now has this like kind of a circle of, of of spiraling driftwood around it. Flatten the the metallic part that sticks through that to basically have a place for you to affix the pearl to kind of like slot it into. Okay. Uh, definitely takes you a good few hours. Uh, it's quite oh, yeah. uh, finicky work, but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And to combine two staves together. And then when I'm done with it, if they're not back, I'll probably just go like put it in. I guess is where she's staying. Cool. Okay. And then go to bed because I'm exhausted. Yeah, basically, I would just like to go while we're, while Davian and I are on walk with Onu. I need to go buy um. While we're here, let's say cause we, and we have the money. I'll buy three of them. They're four hundred gold each. Um, I need to buy a gold inlaid vial with water in it. What? Yeah, just actually, uh... the vial has water, a pebble, ash, and some air. It's for my summon elemental spell. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So I'll buy three of them, so that's 1,200 gold. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Dutch, really random weird question that you'll find out why I'm asking for it later. Um, how easy is marble or granite to get in the city? You like gotta a the, you decent gotta, amount of it. Did you got to build a nether portal, bro? Like go to the nether and <laughs> No. Um. Um. Actually, Dave, I'm marble and granite. Sorry. Holy fuck! Don't care. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I mean, according to geology, granite would probably be more likely to be in the desert, but sorry. Um. Oh, basic. Like a lot of the more fancy housing in Kelsier definitely has. Uh, some definitely has some marble uh, finish. Uh, actually, those would have more granite finishes, and you can see like in the temple district, there is some there is some marble uh, being used. You would have to kind of go and see if you could find like a a business, you know, like a, like a building company or a, or, a, or a contractor or something. And just see what they kind of have. Okay. And you could you could try your luck. Cool. cool. Um. On the list for tomorrow. What do I want to watch? Okay. Uh, so, Davian, you're going for your walk. Uh, Thel is doing some shopping. Lazarin is sleeping. Lazarin is not sleeping. Oh, what's Lazarin up to? I mean, he's in his. Yeah, it off. Absolutely just jorking it and by Fucking it. Fucking destroying his shit. <laughs> <laughs> Peanuts. Nuts. No, uh. Um, he will just be in his room, but he is just like catatonically staring at the visage. Oh, and he's just and he's just also, looking at it. While Davian and I are on dog walk, I'll also um, just say like, oh, now talking about it more. I had my memory jogged a little bit, <clears> aka <throat> Laura to reread her own notes because forgot part of new character's backstory. Because when they're asking like, why are you? The real, the other, re the the part I missed of why I guess the shell has picked her, the circle of like all female druids that she was living with before were wor worshippers of Sochellus, and so they told him, "Hey, this chick's been living with us. We think she could be useful to you." Because I told them about the whole Istisha Umberly, fuck them, I hate them story, and so right. they were like, "Hey, that's that's the real thing." So I'll, I'll that my memory will be jogged, and I'll tell Davy in that part while we're walking. Um, Laszlo, mm -hmm. while you're catatonically staring, can you Talks. make me a history check? No, oh boy. Open your book. Open your big fancy. <laughs> That's a nine. You, you kind of sit there subconsciously trying to like remember the, that weird dream you feel like you had. And... You only have a, an urge to like for some reason you you, you want to check your book like the, the big old the big old book oh like look away from the mask and then like just pick up the book and just be like i've not looked at this thing for fucking ages man it's heavy as you <laughs> turn through the pages you see a note kind of flying out of it i'm just like 
I'll try and, you know, pick them off the ground. You don't remember putting any loose pieces of paper in that book, but nothing on this note. It's just an empty piece of paper. It just seemed to find its way into that <laughs> book. No, fella. Oh, it's empty? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Must have been blank page from the book previously, falling out. So we'll put it in. Just put it, like, in the front cover and close it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as you're kind of in your room and, and, and kind of alone with your thoughts right now, you keep looking at the, uh, the dragon mask that you now have. It's like a one-on-one like -on -one replica of what Brixoth's head looked like. Um, Make a wisdom save and throw with disadvantage. <laughs> Going full green goblin. Uh, <laughs> this is Stop 16. To him. 16. You just feel after trying to keep yourself composed for so long, and not only about this, but everything. The night webs, Valor's betrayal, Daigon's death, and all the other fucked up shit that has happened to you. You cannot help but just kind of be overcome by your anger. You uh -oh. just oh, I'll be doing it again, but just I just caught it doing it, and it's so annoying. Um. You, you you get so mad and, and you, you kind of just keep staring daggers at this at this empty hollow mask. But this 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 rage you feel, this anger, is, is something that, that 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 this is not like you. This has never happened to you before. But you are incredibly angry. You man! I'm mega mega I'm fucking few. So, so do with that as you may. Okay. Oh, too many bad things. <laughs> oh, it's so tempting. But alas, I do not have any of the spell slots because we've not technically long rested since the fight. So we have. We long rested post fight. We had to long rest to get out. Yeah, You're fucking true. Yeah. Well, thank you for enabling me. Uh, I will wait for uh to hear people are coming back. The people are back. Um. Yeah. I mean, eventually you'll hear. You know, you you hear the occasional like like bonk bonk sound coming from uh, Jax's room as he's working on the staves, staves, whatever. Staves. Um, Staves. Eventually, you hear the pitter patter of of dog paws uh, crossing the hallway. Like, it seems like everyone is slowly getting back, and all they're all kind of getting ready to go bedge. And yeah, I will. I will wait the evening until it feels like everyone has gone to bed. Anything anyone wants to do oh, before I they have hit to the sleep hay? again? Oh, that's the worst. Put my alarm spell around the workshop. I, if, the, if the staff is dug when I get back, I'll also make sure to go to Jackson, just thank him, and say excellent craftsmanship. Oh, and ask, how much how much do I owe you? For your skills. Oh, dude, do I want to, um... I just want to, like, 300 gold in materials, I think. Sure, I'll give you the 300 gold. Because also, I basically got a free staff of power from Davian also, kind of. So it's also like I'm yep. paying someone in the group for this free staff of power, so. So, yeah. I'll give you 300 gold before I go to bed. So tempting to say more, dude. <laughs> so tempting. Hmm. Okie dokie. Davian, you, uh, you hitting the sack? Oh, yeah. I guess. I mean. What's up, Celestia? I slept for a long time. Yeah, you did. You did. What's uh? Where the fuck are we? Where the fuck are we? I think We're I think you guys decided to. In the guild hall. Like you can choose whether or not you want to 
stay in guild hall or you want to go to the oh to our the, in, yeah basically. yeah I say stay at Guild Hall because we tired. I, just need I the also workshop, like the so. idea of having yeah. more people around in case a yeah. Lazarin has a freak out. <laughs> um, oh no, he got me going, going when we show up. Let's. I mean, <laughs> I'll I'll take in the Calzia nightlife for a while. Why not? Okay. Uh, if I hear Davian leaving, yeah, I will cast mislead. Okay. So it just looks like I'm sleeping in my bed. And I am going out. Oh no. And I am. Yeah. I'm going to get uh, stabbed. And I will, um, like, messy up my hair loads, like, grabbing, like, just pieces of dirt and stuff like that, and just, like, trying to make myself look ragged. Uh, and I would like to try and find the, like, shadiest fucking pub, or the roughest fucking place I can find. Welcome to the salty spadoon. How tough are you? Did you bring your visibly overflowing, bulging money sack to the Fuck shady no. place you can find? Okay, no, just check I'm, in. Just I check have, in. I have literally got like, I have left all like pretty much all my stuff like at home. I still just have like my Joaquin, like my necklace has all my like stuff on it. <clears throat> left everything there. Um, Probably got one one pouch that's got about fifty gold in it. Go around and you can eventually come up on. Calzir is a very neat and organized city. It doesn't really have slums, but it definitely has areas that look less kept up than, than the rest, right? Um, and you eventually get into like this this back alley, and you can see this 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 weird sign kind of above a door. Um, basically, like the D and D equivalent of like a neon sign but yeah, instead of neon lights it's just this like yeah. these orbs of light kind of organized in such a way um <clears throat> to um form a word to form form a sign essentially uh and it's kind of just like looks a bit fucked where like some of the orbs are missing and it's just kind of this 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 half uh broken sign but they, they still use it um, and you see there's this metal door and you can see as you approach there's this like 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 eye level kind of like latch that's currently shut no windows um, the only word from the sign that you can make out is uh, Shisha I will just wait for a bit how long did it take me to get there? Uh, it's about a twenty. Still... Uh, going at getting in cities like 10, 15 minute walk. So like like a thirty minute hike. Okay. I will wait for a bit. Like I'll take twenty, twenty five minutes longer. Does anyone come to the door? The um. Time? No, but you see someone kind of step out, and it's this. It's definitely uh this um. This this taller kind of burly looking guy and you can see he is off his rocker he is <laughs> shit faced the, when the door opens he comes out I'd like to try and sneak in I'm still like invisible I've got like invisible for an hour so I'm gonna try and sneak in whilst the door's opened okay uh, make a stealth check with advantage uh, 22 Okay, you sneak your way in, and you suddenly... Uh, you... Immediately s smell all these, like, sweet scents kind of floating in the air, all kinds of fruits. And there's just this perpetual kind of fogginess that is that is not fog, but smoke. As you now look at this this large mural above the staircase that has this, this all these seats and couches with like like hookah plus she's gone yeah. uh, areas where where and this mural just kind of it almost it almost looks like a picture like a photograph yeah. of just a very busy night and there's a lot of different people from different strokes of life depicted and you can see that on this like little balcony uh is this tiger-headed 
individual dressed well dressed in a suit kind of overseeing it all uh and you can see this like large name painted above the mural the rakshasa's land hmm <laughs> went into the cd early belly and this is a little too cd <laughs> uh i will uh just quickly use the night web detector and just see anything range on that again oh, oh. Fucking, there we go. uh it <laughs> is 60 feet no cool good that's what i'm looking cool and then i will you're currently just like in this like entry hallway yeah. and there's like another staircase yeah, down is there, yeah is there like someone that looks like there's a bar area yeah, as you go down the steps, you can see the room opens up, and it's almost like this place is huge. Like it's, this place yeah. is massive, and there are several bars kind of like along the walls, and you can see there's all these individual booths, and there's booths for like like two people, three people, four people, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like all kinds of like the biggest booth you see is like there's this large group of at least twenty people, all kind of sat around this long table mm -hmm. uh, with like like it's basically uh, enough hookahs. To, to accommodate all of them kind of spread around that table uh it is busy very busy and the, again people down here are all kinds of different people. is there a like a bar stool like a, a, like the actual yeah, bar? yeah yeah like there's there's definitely some some vacant bar stools uh and you look I around will... and you see a lot of individuals that you've never seen people like them roaming the streets mm. but they're here um, which strikes you as interesting. I will sit on one of these stools and wait to like start from the bar is semi close and then drop the invisibility. Mm -hmm. So I'm just fucking bounce in front you of them. See behind the bar is this. Uh, I wouldn't say young, but like 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 not like teenager, but like like early twenties maybe. Mm. Um, in human years. Mm -hmm. It's this red-skinned, leathery-winged uh, tiefling, Oz? jagged horns. <laughs> and where did you come from, then? You don't see me walk. I'm oh, fucking with you. I just came in. Mm. Um, don't like to be seen. Oh, well, what is the cheapest me... drink with the highest alcohol content you have? Oh, so you can handle that, big man. No, but I still <laughs> want it. Oh, at least he's honest. All right, one Hellfire engine coming. Oh shit! And you see her pour <laughs> this, this 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 shot glass, and it's filled with this fiery red liquid. Then she whispers a few words, and it just <laughs> sets a light. And there's just like flame, kind of like on top of it now, like very big. <clears throat> Puts it in front of you. I would say enjoy, but I doubt you would. Yeah, uh -huh. never try. How much is this? Mm. Well, seeing I've never seen your face down here before, this one will be on the house. Purely because right. I want to see Never good when I do the that. reaction. Just sort of hesitantly pick it up and then, yeah, fuck it. Make a constitution saving throw with giga disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> so you roll 3d20s and you take I'm the tempted. Work. I'm fucking tempted. Giga. <laughs> no, just uh, roll a disadvantage. Seven. This just like punches you in the face and not necessarily the alcohol. But just a fire, like the fire. you are the fire. consuming what I can only describe as literal jet, jet fuel. fuel. Yeah, like it burns, it burns, it burns on the way down, and you can feel it as it kind of goes down into your body. You can kind of feel it, just you can feel it on its way down, wherever it goes. You feel, you feel it there, and you just begin coughing. And some, when you cough, some smoke kind of escapes your mouth, <laughs> and she just kind of. Crosses her arms and, and leans back and looks at you. <coughs> See, that was worth. Very entertaining. I suggest maybe your next Another. drink to uh, 
be a little more careful with your uh, choice of words, Samia. Yeah? What's something like that that doesn't destroy my insides forever? Well, it wouldn't destroy my insides forever, maybe a few weeks. Days. I'll just have an it. T just something strong, something shit. I don't care. <laughs> strong shit, but not corrosive. <laughs> Do I uh, take it you are here, uh, you're opening a tab? No, I'm having a couple. Just need to take off the edge. No, she just gives you this like mug of this this shitty ale. This is the arc where Lazarin becomes an alcoholic storyline. Um, <laughs> and as you kind of sit there at the bar, uh, there is this eventually this like this this, this individual kind of I would say walks to the bar, but he's way too fucked up to like walk straight <laughs> like he kind of he kind of cr almost Stumbles. crawls mm. to the bar and as he kind of gets up you can see his legs are still on the ground you can see his back kind of extend so that his uh, face does reach like eye height with the barkeep huh and you look around and it's just like there's a lot of weird motherfuckers down here some <laughs> beings that you've never seen before but definitely not beings that you've seen Mm. In a setting like this, nor like out and about. It's almost like you stepped through a door and just like ended up somewhere in the Nine Hells. Oh, oh good. Uh, good. Um, That's good for the PTSD. Yeah, real, real great. <laughs> <laughs> How much did this one drink cost me? This ale? What the fuck? Uh, it just cost you fucking there? like five copper. Like it's cheap as fuck. Cool. I still just give a gog and keep the change. Oh shit. It's rough. I don't deal in yeah. fucking copper. That's how you get robbed, motherfucker. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, I haven't got 50 gold on me at the moment, it's still good. Probably. You definitely do, like, you don't, I don't need you to roll a perception check for this, but yeah. you're definitely being looked at in certain corners, <laughs> like... You stand Is out. There... Like, I still look... I don't know, fucking mess, but yeah, 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 but you definitely stand still, out in the sense of like, you know, you're just a lad, right? Compared yeah, to just whatever just the fuck's boy. going on yeah. down here. Is there any anyone else who looks like? I guess uh, is anyone who's like staring, like Make a perception check. Oh, okay, no. Uh, nineteen. Uh, you look around, and the only person you kind of catch. And like accidentally lock eyes like lock locks eyes with you is when your eyes glance up and you can see this tiger headed humanoid looking individual oh, no. kind of looking oh, down at you from a balcony kind of like looks at you locks eyes and you can see kind of like one eyebrow kind of raise and then he turns his back and walks into a door that's the one guy I didn't want to lock eyes with well hell <laughs> and I'll yeah, I'll talk to the barkeep. Like, what's up with the um, big fella up top there? Oh, well, um, <clears throat> he's around this place for uh, a very long time. It's a place where, um, oh no, well, people like you don't really tend to visit nor know about this, which is probably why he was looking at you. Well, how you found out about this? <laughs> just uh, if he does approach, just be nice, be respectful, be honest, and you'll be fine. He's uh. Well, I would say all bark, no bite, but that wouldn't really fly, right? Given that uh, he's, he's more of a cat type of... Um, <laughs> no, this... Uh, well, you've kind of walked into a, to a little safe haven of creatures from all kinds of places. Um, I guarantee you'll have met some of these people before. They just didn't look like this when you met them. As a lot of them do live in Kalzir, but will never reveal what they truly are up there. Down here, it is safe to be, be yourself, you know? Uh, the story, it's not much of a story there. Uh, is, uh, Rakshasa, I don't know if you know much about his kind, but uh, very cunning, very clever, mm -hmm. very smart. Hold a grudge, though. Mm -hmm. um, like, really old. Like, Foreshadowing. Through lifetimes. <laughs> hold a grudge through lifetimes, kind of thing. And so don't piss him off. He will hunt you and probably your your 
children, the children's children. He's a, <laughs> they get they get up to things. No, but um, entrepreneurs saw an opportunity, uh, especially since, uh, well, not many people know, but the defeat of Orcus kind of blew a uh, a mountain-sized hole into the the the, the, the layer of of of. Well, let's say protection that kind of separates uh, the the hells from the material plane, and it only lasted for a little bit. But a lot of people, a lot of things got out. Huh? Kind of roam the material plane now, looking for a place to belong, and that is uh, where he came from as well. And he decided to give those people exactly what they need: a place to belong. And that is this for mm. lounge. Very admirable. Good to know. Um, and I'm just gonna. I'll walk away, and then I will just sort of get like, just look across into seeing this sort of place, like, take a breath, and I think a lot of the anger and intention I imagine had coming out, just hearing this sort of, like, place of, like, re-beginning for a lot of these people. I'm just gonna sort of it's just gonna stare out and then I'll, I'll leave. Um, um and I will yeah, I'll just be walking down the street. Uh, well before you like, like get out, yeah. eventually as you get to the stairs, yeah. you just suddenly feel this 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 hand on your shoulder. Leaving so soon. Oh no. And as you kind of turn and your head, just... uh, you are now face to face with this tiger headed individual. Only stopped in for a couple. Not from around these parts. Really not. Which is why your presence here is interesting. You yeah. had a uh, guest like yourself here for um many many years. How did you find flesh? If I said I stumbled upon it, I feel like you won't believe me, but it is the truth. I was just looking for somewhere... ...less... ...habited by those I usually hang out with. Just to quickly rewind. So you... ...found this metal door in a wall? Mm-hmm. How did you get in? Someone opened it and I snuck in. You they can were see, quite drunk. Like, he kind of like lets out this like kind of growl. What did they look like? <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't really paying that much attention. I wanted more in the door than who the fuck opened it. Big. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, it's, um, seen by intelligence. <clears throat> you understand how important it is. Keep very tight lips about this place for very obvious reasons. A lot of people, <clears throat> good people, from down here that don't really have a place to be themselves in the city. It'd be a shame word spread. This place got shut down because people feared what lurked beneath this. Oh, don't worry. I mean, I uh, admire the niche business you found yourself. Okay. It is... Admirable. Good. I'm not in the... Go on. Some of the... Uh, sorry. You who have... He given <clears throat> you to... Uh, pick an engine? Oh, yeah. It wasn't really convincing. They just sort of said this all we got. So I went, yeah, sure. Right, um, you get home, you might want to, uh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, that bad. Well, for people that hail from the same woods as I hail from, fine. But like you, it, it, it might, it, it, well, it might just kind of burn a hole in, like a fist sized hole inside your stomach. So you might want to get oh, it out. Oh my god. Mm. Like What's your that. name? See now. Names. Give me Julius. <laughs> well, you've learned a pretty important secret. Belongs to me. At least I could get it. I don't give my name to strangers for good reason. I don't trust you. Just he extends his hand. Yeah. His oh, paw. Paw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Niger, nice to meet you. See, now we're not strangers. That's not how that works. But oh, shake his hand. Okay, just your secret safe with me. Just um. Don't get prying around about who I am. It does not end well for you. Oh. oh. The, client, the clientele, the people who want to find out about me will do anything to find out. You don't, for your own sake, you don't want to get wrapped up. If you still want this place here, I was never here. And the less you know, the better, really. Don't plan to. Good night. Good evening. Remember, like he mimics putting a finger in his throat. Why'd you land? I love the look on Sobo's face. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't we kill him? Am I crazy? No, you're not. Yeah, but he's also a Rakshasa. He's a Rakshasa. Yeah, but you... We didn't go to the hells. No, I thought we went there. to the hells and killed him. No, we never did. Nope. We never do. Is that a different Rakshasa? Yeah, probably. <laughs> or you're thinking of a um, different campaign. They all blend yeah. together. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will leave. Same? I will attempt to make myself vomit outside the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do, and it burns, like, man. On the, on the fucking burns. doorstep. Right on the fucking doorstep. <clears throat> it burns. It hurts. Yep. <laughs> but it's out. And, yeah, I will uh, pretend to stumble. Um, like I'm uh, drunk on the streets and just like make it so people don't want to and see what you're doing like who you are mm -hmm. just that weird like blend in with like I won't get fucking involved with what the fuck he's going on with but also like enough so people like see me okay odds on I run this Davian what's the odds what's the odds actually a good question uh Both of you roll. Both of you roll the twenty. No, I came visible. <laughs> oh, let me guess. If we roll the same number, we'll meet. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta roll low, bro. Roll one. Mm, Seventeen. Six. Don't. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. And I will. Wow! What the hell, man? What? I don't, I don't need Gavin knowing that Elasin snuck out. <laughs> Again. 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 And of course, ran into trouble. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Uh, I will try to be as quiet as I can when they come back in and hope that no one is about. And then just fucking go bitch. Go bitch. Go bitch. Um, yeah, all sleep. Some of you, it takes a little longer to get to sleep than others, but uh, you all long rest. And we can time. pretty uh, bright and early the next day. Uh, and I think this is a good break time. We're pretty close to the time. Because Ethan, Ethan should be here soon. He joins us soon. Plus, oh, it doesn't fuck say even if he if even if we're already playing he, he then joins us. Mm -hmm. I can literally just like he joins. Mm -hmm. I turn off the 
screen capture yeah. that I have going on in Discord. I'm yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Does he oh, have? Bit of a deal. So we're going to take a little break ski here, boys. Um, thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you. We'll be back in a few moments. Um, BRB.
Whatever you, you feel like. Whoever keeps flipping what? me off, chat. It's, it's, I'm over it. Did you say flipping you off or sucking you off? Flipping. Because... I feel like you. All right, hold on, need... guys. You had to really reach that. that one. Guys, it's Ethan. Guys. Hey, hey guys. Hold on, I gotta think? quickly swap cameras around. <laughs> Yo, I'm Davian. Let's go. No, I'm... Hello, jokes. I oh. wish I was like a Lazarin. I love him so much. It's my Devin impression, guys. Ow, my butthole. Spot on, honestly. But hey, guys, Ethan is here. Look at that. Hello. Yeah, so that little, like, How exciting. Easter egg slash bar, I was like, if any, like, if, if it ever gets found, I'm sure it's going to be Brooks, but... <laughs> but it wasn't. Hey, man. Easter egg, he says. This is a little. This is meant to be a little callback to kind of a little, little head scratcher for US players to like theorize on what how this. And that, see, all. that's what had me confused. That's why I asked yeah. like who killed him because what I meant was like, was it the ragtag fuckwits? Oh or... no, 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 right, no, 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 no. dude, it's again. No, it was a one shot while we were like early in this campaign. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. So like, uh, it's it's Gen, bro. I think it's Gen, yeah. It's Gen, Gen, Gen it's got Gen. the last uh, kill in yeah, no. um, the No, I'm just saying. Duke it, always gets the last shot. I'm just saying, no. Is it no, the no, no, I mean, is the right which chest. party killed him? Right. Because yeah. if it was right, yeah. Heroes of Exile, Heroes Exile, then it's Gen. Because oh. we killed him. Right, right, right. So it's just a changeling. Yeah, isn't Gen doing like farewell things? How'd you Dude, he could have a vacation once in a while. There's, there's possibility. <laughs> if there's anyone a... was going to own some weird eccentric bar where people can be their true selves, wouldn't it be ironic that it was a changeling? That would be fucking ironic. Um, plus, you know, you got a little little info drop about like you know. Mm -hmm. A lot, of, a lot of strange creatures now roam the material plane after mm -hmm. basically in universe basically when you essentially drop kick orcas back into the hole he was trying to be get summoned out of um while that hole was being closed a lot of other fuckers basically kind of snuck their way out real quick uh, and now roam the material plane Right, just just trying to live life, blending in. Yeah. I don't know so. how I feel about that. <laughs> but yeah, um, so you all wake up, um, Brooks. Hey. Hello. Who was who was holding on to uh, Jess's vessel, Eigen? Blagan's fucking dead. Uh, probably. 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 So <laughs> I guess I would have it. So Jax, you, I guess, with Daigon's robo body, were you also carrying her belongings around? Nah, I left them in the Whispering Woods. No, you didn't. It's still fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing you left it all in the workshop, I was like, that would be right? disrespectful to your last conversation. If you did <laughs> well, you left it all in the workshop, I guess, right? So, so you yeah, yeah, up, yeah, you fell asleep in the workshop? Actually, he'd probably wake up in the bag of holding. Because I would have just put her vessel in the bag of holding, probably. Oh, let's just say you didn't. I don't think Jax would do that. No, I think it'd be Cassie funny to keep would. Brooks in a bag, honestly. Jax, knowing that is uh, something that could end up really bad. He could be my little pocket let's chihuahua. Let's just say Jax didn't. So, Brooks, you just kind of bamf out. And you're in the workshop in the Heroes of Exiles uh, uh, place. And you can see Jax kind of... I imagine Jack just like fell asleep in his in his chair, just kind of old man mm -hmm. style. Yeah. Good morning. I'm gonna just gently. No, I'm. Um... You can't wake him up. You'll give him a heart attack. You'll kill him. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Listen, he's only allowed one roll for heart attack a session, and he used his. All right. He used his one for today. Uh huh. Uh. I'm just gonna. Jax. Jax, what time is it? <laughs> Am I back in now? 
like poke his face okay. a little bit. <laughs> Why? Am I dreaming? If you're dreaming of me, then we have to talk about some things. Hehe. <laughs> Where's Kess? Uh, she's still figuring shit out with her dad, but they are at the point where I can't really do any more. Um, so she isn't dead? No, but I also don't want to be in the middle of that situation. It's fucking awkward as it is. Would you like the good news or the bad news? Uh, I guess just hit me with both. Why don't we kill Bricks off? That's good. Um, Dragon's dead. And Jack's just gonna walk out. As you Jesus. get delivered that bomb, you have this weird sense of deja vu. I lived through this before. Yet I like how it's also very just like. Yet the news still fucking like slams into you like a truck. But there is this weird sense of deja vu kind of happening. Both, time, both times he's been told, it's been the most blunt like, hey, by the way. <laughs> By the way, one of your best friends is- Jack doesn't have the emotional capacity for this right now, okay? <laughs> so, Brooks, you stand there in the workshop. Jack's walked out. It's uh, not inside that head. I'm just gonna... Pull up the chair in the workshop and just sit down for a minute and just... Take a moment. Get me with your fat cock. I've seen those videos. <laughs> um, what videos are they, hmm? Of people that, playing that what... version of the song and seeing how their spouse re reacts. That's what Davian's listening to right now. <laughs> um, Davian's just in his room. Yeah, but you guys are on different websites than I am. <laughs> you, all, uh, you all awaken. Feeling long rested. Still feeling a bit out of it. but Better than... Long rested and big breasted. Hey, but, um, guys all kind of gather downstairs. Uh, how long does Brooks kind of take? Kind of sitting in the, the workshop, kind of. Um, process. until someone comes and gets him, probably. Um, I'm gonna start taking over like the dining room table and spreading out a ton of maps of the area around it. Okay. Morning. Oh, uh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. You know, considering everything that's going on and happening, and you know, yes, um, my whole life has been a lie. One of my good friends is dead, and you know, I've stuffed to kill three more fucking dragons. I'm, oh, I'm just excellent. As he walks down, I'm finished out just the morning. Come down, and I've like found an apple somewhere, and I do think like sit down at the table, and then like lean back, put feet up on the table, I'm just like eating my apple. God, I hate hey. her more and more the more you fucking find Where out. Where did you her. get an apple from? I mean, kitchens aren't that hard to find. Okay, sorry, I didn't realize you knew where the apples were. I didn't know they had some here. <laughs> okay. that's so, why is that so funny? You know you know where the apples <laughs> were. <laughs> like, <why? laughs> Is it is a is it eighteen passive perception high enough to notice if a Lazarin is looking like maybe he got a little less sleep than the rest of us, or if he's looking a little worse for wear? Did he have any fiery poops this morning? <laughs> he definitely looks fucked up, but like he looked fucked <laughs> yesterday as well. So. All right. Oh well, either I'm just gonna. Oh wait, I look a fucking mess because my hair's like covered in dirt and shit and yeah. stuff because I like fucking grabbed dirt from outside and fucking poked oh, my hair. You didn't yeah. clean that up uh, before you. Yeah. Went so back. Fuck, I, I, no, I forgot. No, unless. Unless he went through all that, got in, completely forgot he's yep. fucking done that. <laughs> Sorry, as, you, as you sit there, I was like, I mean, looks like someone had a fun night. Continue to eat my apple. And then so I also like, I'll scratch my head like, ah, oh, oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> ah. did you sneak out last night? No, I didn't sneak out. I joined. Insight. Uh, 
Okay. He clearly just decided to take a mud bath, but the mud was dry and it was in his own bed. Obviously, he snuck out. Vomit's your insight's me. crazy, so it doesn't even... <laughs> I mean, your... No, my, my insight's your... crazy. My deception is yeah. not very good. Yeah, well, my insight's not very good either, so... Yeah. 15. Oh, oh it was the biggest already. costume's higher than that. <laughs> Whoa, it's the biggest 16 of my life. Whoa! <laughs> 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 <Just> no thing. <laughs> I'm hot to read because I'm depressed. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of sad boy energy, and <laughs> you're not really sure, like, you gotta think I... back and like, last like 24 hours of the Lazarin talking, like, kind of unbearable. Just, yeah. yeah, yeah, literally, he's been such he's been more such than usual, miserable, miserable shit like, for the whatever, past like you know? 24 hours. Plus, Jax has a lot of like, like, things going on himself. Yeah, so, I mean, uh. uh he's yeah. like, oh, Lazarin, the... Lazarin's feeling how I feel right now. You know, I, I just say, oh, I. Davian was, you know, spending some time with Davian last night after you guys went to bed, and he was showing me some things in the gardens. I forgot to wash up. Just going to do this morning after breakfast. Is Davian YouTube sits there on the other like side of the, the table. Look like the green thumb kind of type. <laughs> <laughs> like, Davian uh, keeps his mouth. <coughs> yeah, but I, I, I just ask you uh, to keep your mouth shut. Just look at Davian. Go, yeah, you look like the green thumb kind of type. I like really sarcastically, but leave it at that. Uh, I'll have you know that I have a plus seven to nature, so... <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> huh? And I have a plus five to nature. The, the, the window and the walls begin to crack a little bit, as Davian says. That. <laughs> just a fucking... The roof comes off, there's just all of us there. <laughs> um, so... Um, Brooks is back. Where huh? is he? Always in the workshop. Runs. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. He's like, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll like slam open the door to the workshop. What the fuck was that for? Uh, and I, I'm just like, it looks like I'm going for a fucking punch to Brooks's face. And then just like, and I'm just gonna like hug him. No. I'll hug him back, and it is a solid hug. Yeah, this is like a I'm real like, hug, a genuine like, hug. It, it starts a little bit where it's fine, and I'm like, Brux, Brux. I'm still tapping out like a fucking wrestling. Yeah, like, Brux, 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 Brux. and this is nice, but is Kiss here as well? Uh, no, she is. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> She's uh, dealing with her, her dad shit. I just, there wasn't much I could do. And being in that situation is not the most comfortable I've ever been. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if you'd been back, you know, 24 hours earlier. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. A lot's happened. I assume Jax has probably told you. Yeah. Did he tell you everything, or just the... Just the... Yeah. Worst. I oh. hope. Fucking tears welling up already, and then we've left his face again. It's fucking like, here we go. Um, So, we also found out that... um, Valor was bricks off. The entire time. So, so that's, that's fucked. Yeah, it's great. We also met a visitor to your map. I think. At least it said it was. And I snapped it, and nothing happened. So. Well, let me correct you there real quick. You assumed it was, and it didn't deny. It. There's a difference. Well, okay. <laughs> Is what I fucking just said not true to what my character would know at the time? <laughs> no. You're okay, no. So, with, with information given, that's that's what's been taken out. Oh, it's fucking happened, Dutch! <laughs> it's fucking happened! Alright, sorry, sorry. My bad. Continue, continue. <laughs> Maybe team map. A prediction team map. I don't really know. It was terrifying, though. So, I mean, we're just... Yeah. But there's a beer festival or some 
shit done at the pub. So we're doing that today. So you actually picked a really like good day for you to come back. Awful day to come back because like we're getting very drunk. Oh, and yeah, done yeah, with you. Everyone needs it. Yeah, there's also this new bitch. I don't know, she's like the patron of the water lord or wannabe warlord. I think you'll get along with her, but also she's a fucking bitch. Like a, a glowing and stellar review then for Really me. like I'll be honest, not pay much attention to her. Kind of other things been going on. So a snarky fucking little shit is not in the uh in the wheelhouse of things things know. But she could come join us for breakfast and make herself known to everyone else. I'm just gonna give him another hug. Yeah. Doesn't uh, like snarky little shits is friends with Brooks. There's a difference between one I've known for a while. <laughs> yeah. What one who's just arrived and is giving me snark at the most traumatized point <laughs> of my life. Sort of a difference. <laughs> All she knows how to give is snark. Yeah. Uh yeah, th this time this hug has a uh, fucking crying. Uh <laughs> You like, <laughs> feel like, yeah, literally, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> but actually, not, it, it's not like out loud, it's just sad that you were, uh, you might feel like a, a little bit of like ears just like on your shoulder. And it's like, <laughs> I know, anyway, it, it fucking sucks. Real, yeah, one problem at a time. We will, yep, come on, man, like, we've done so much shit. There is, yeah, just, just we will figure it out. That's what we do. We end up in fucked up situations and we figure it out. It, yeah, it just feels like nothing has been real for a while. It's sort of hard to know where I stand in life. And what's actually been my choices and what hasn't been. But you know, we'll, uh, we'll get there. Just a lot. So I, guess, I mean what I like the problem is right is that the moment you start thinking about that it is going to be you're never going to get the answer to that right because first of all he's fucking dead and even if he wasn't you would never get an answer to that that you felt comfortable with. All you can... God, I hate being the voice of fucking reason. Then don't be. Let's go get breakfast. <laughs> let's, not let's not change who we are now. As and much I'll as you... Start to leave the voice of Sultana instead. Nice. I'm just going to walk out with him, put my arm around him, and be like, you're a good person. You're a dick, but you're a good person. Thanks. And continue my stance. Just in whack pure him. silence. Whack him in the bollocks and then run in past him. Oh, you can't do <laughs> <laughs> Not like a hand, you know, so he just like, yeah. Inflict wounds level seven. No, I'm joking. It's just like, <laughs> right you. on his nuts. Inflict <laughs> wounds level seven on his nut. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, fuck <laughs> you. No children. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Turn my testicles to raisins. <laughs> Just blackened raisins now. The crisis yeah. of the penis. So, Brooks, you uh, join the rest of the gang at the breakfast table. Are met by uh, your group, um, Celesti, and also. Uh, hmm. uh, is there breakfast on the table yet? No, because there's maps everywhere, right? Yeah. But... Yep. I'm just gonna give a nod to Celesti. If Davian's in there, I'll give him a half wave, and I'm just gonna start raiding cupboards. Uh, like in the kitchen, you mean? Yeah. Well, as you enter the kitchen, you can see Hilda is already up and at him. Oh. Prepping breakfast. Like, looks at you. Morning. Uh, give me about uh 15, 20 minutes, and I'll uh, have some some food for all of you. Um, you a coffee or a tea person? I'll have a coffee, please. Hey. Uh, yeah, come on right up. Just go and uh, have a seat. And uh, could you ask your, uh, your boyfriend to maybe clear the table in about 10 minutes so that I can well, I can put all my stuff down? 
Just give us a shout and I will yeah, he seemed a bit tell him to move it or turf his shit on the floor. Occupied. I didn't want to disturb him. Ah, fuck him. Hey. And then she goes back to uh, all kinds of, you know, breakfast adjacent uh, tasks. That she if I remember correctly, all the shit that we've been doing in the... Do we have to... We don't have to eat when we're in there. Do we? Huh? Do we uh -huh. still have to eat in the fucking... We've been in the, the plane of air because we weren't just in Kess's vessel. We were... Yeah, you still... Um... Have, yeah, yeah, you still... So I've been on rations for five fucking days. Oh, dude, you're, you're in the company of... Fucking air elements, big shots, bro. You think they wouldn't know food? At least that motherfucker's bringing him food. Yeah, and yeah. You've, been, you've been well taken care of. Don't worry. Fair. <laughs> okay. Basically, the 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 air elemental equivalent of royalty stayed with. You're chilling, bro. <laughs> uh, Mr. DM. Hello. Across the maps of the area that I've pulled out of my um, cartographer's case. Can you say the area? Be a little more specific. Like what? what, what uh, like around Kowsier. So like maybe like okay. within like, I don't know, 20, 30 mile radius around Kowsier. Sure. I'm looking for like a place with like some, maybe like some cliffs or like a nice little mountain kind of thing. Um. What? What? Is there anything like that around here? Burn, I can't find the map. Not really. Uh, the expanse is, is relatively flat, and there's also like this this area like like so you get to like the borders with their Sigalia or uh, but this place. Um, mm. You know how, in, like, way back when, beginning campaign one, there's a mountain ridge that kind of forms the, like, southern border of the of the Expanse, uh, right? Ah, uh, that's, like, the first, like, mountains? Yeah. That is, like, that is, that is, like, that's where the land starts to become less, like, like <laughs> not flat anymore. Smile. Um, like, Smile. the entirety of the Expanse, with with some exceptions, is, is virtually just a big old sandbar. Great. Okay. There's some hills, but like or like the hills that are there are basically just large sand dunes. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like, then there's like the mountains cliffs, to the south too. Not really mountains, also. Unless you uh, uh. Okay. I will put my maps back in the cartographer's case. So Celeste kind of looks at you all. So, um... I don't want to dampen things, but... you able to really come to, like, goodbye? Obviously, there's no... No bar. Very. Hasn't been for a while. Done anything of the sort? Well... There is. It's just in Kess's vessel. True. Actually, fucking true. That's hey, what's in... You guys forgot about that? No. What's in Kess's vessel? Dagon's no, body. Didn't we, didn't we do a burying ceremony for it? Because we didn't need it. No, anymore. yeah, you did. Oh, you did this kind of like, as Dagon was kind of like, I'm kind yeah. of Yeah, because she, uh, she, she'd, she'd yeah, accepted yeah, yeah. there Dagen was, was the, already, she wasn't going to go back. True, true, true. Yeah. Wait, so body body is gone. Yeah, body body. Body. We buried I think, I think it. We burned it or something. We did set. We did a fucking ceremony for a bit. I don't fucking. Yeah, remember. I remember. Laura, you're the note taker. Why didn't you have? Yeah, Laura, come on. Hell? No, I remember you guys I, when, I when did, Dagen, just... It was shortly after you made yeah, Dagon that like robo suit where she was like, no, yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, the part where we realized you could fix it and like I could mm. keep using it. We then decided that I would just not, because it also then it's morbid as hell keeping this. That would have been like just yeah. after Ricard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold up, 
I might be able to. But uh, Celeste is kind of. I don't know. I figured maybe before we all get absolutely shit faced, guys, fuck off away to go on your next suicide mission. Well, maybe it would be nice. But just kind of have a moment. Say goodbye. I'll make you guys yourselves. You know, you said things that you maybe want to say. Way on. No? Um, on the subject of that, I did have a plan for that, but it is semi in shambles. Hmm. How do you mean? Uh, well, I. My memory is not always the best. No. It's decent enough. And I don't remember where we buried Dagon's body. Hold up, I think I might be about to find that in my notes. Because I found it was the first of Octabrian where I had a chat with the Lazarin. I made the decision and I realized I could no longer connect to my body. So now I'm just trying to find where I wrote down what we did with it. But it was sometime around... So around 12 days ago, a week and a half ago, I think. Oh my god, it's only been a week and a half, and we're all like, <laughs> where the fuck do we put this? Yeah, in? it's been like fucking four months IRL, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more, honestly. <laughs> Maybe, right? I didn't even remember we did that with the I swear we did. I swear yeah. we did something with it. Like, I remember us, like... I didn't it, think we did. No, I remember the conversation. I feel like we we may have talked about a plan. I would have absolutely written happen. that down, but I'm now I've multiple not, sessions I've not after written the, it down. I'm now multiple sessions after the chat where, where I, I d t definitively figured out I could no longer connect with my physical old body, but I haven't written down... I, said, I thought maybe, we still just left it in the vessel. I'm pretty sure it's still in the vessel, vessel guys. Like, I, I think oh, I'm not crazy. Gross. There you go. Oh, well, I'm if so it's sorry. been if it's in the vessel, it's been decomposing this entire time. Yeah, because we stopped casting gentle repose. Yes. Well, no, because like we cast we cast gentle repose like what? Well, gentle repose is ten days. Yeah, it's and like ten if days. If we last stopped checking on that October first, then it's only just started decomposing for two days. That's still two days too long for something to be decomposing. <laughs> He's probably like, pretty bloated. Yeah, yeah, it's not fucking. Great. Uh, no, I I would like to assume that knowing that we're not in and out, like. Kess and her dad would have made some sort of plan because Kess would not have just forgotten. No. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Dagon's corpse is in my. Well, Neither uh, did I. There's, uh, you know, there's, there's. Say that it's been preserved and kept relatively fresh. Ooh. Boo, I wanted. I want Stinky Dagon. Stinky Dagon. Oh, dear. He's dead. You. Twice. Smelly cat. Yeah, I literally Smelly don't think cat. we did anything. That's not in my notes. I definitely right remember now, at the it, point where we're I, in. I, I, I we must have planned it. I think we talked about it, but I don't remember <laughs> it did it. We talked about doing it after getting back from the Whispering Woods. Oh my god. That is where I died. So. Oh, there you go. Damn. That'd be for wild. You foreshadowed your own death. I foreshadowed my own death talking about oh, a funeral of one kind, not meaning for it to be a double funeral. <laughs> so this is all you quite Laura's fault. Jinxed it. Yeah, um, <laughs> Anyway, I feel like maybe, like, obviously I don't, you know, you, you knew her a lot better than me, but I feel like if I lost someone in the way you did, even though there's nothing to really bury right now, maybe it would help you guys, you know, just kind of be your final piece. I mean, obviously new here, didn't know her, but I know of her. There is something you could do that's kind of fitting with her history. Looks at the group, waiting to see if anyone twigs. Uh, do you still do you still have her her book? Looks at Jax. Yes. And gestures like toss it over to me. I'll hand it to her. Yeah. Uh, flips to a page, uh, an entry from the twenty eighth of June, where she has a sketch, and it's a sketch of the three different the lo the imagery of the three different clans where she is from. And one of them is called the Tranquil Dunes and says, if there was some way to convert whatever body of choice, maybe to ash, scatter it amongst, you're surrounded by Tranquil Dunes, we're in a desert. Allowing this metagame? Mm -hmm. Okay, you okay. Said, you literally <laughs> said that Sashellis had a whole, like, here's everything you need to know about yeah, the Yeah, okay, but not yeah, like page that. to page like, entries like, of her diary? Yeah. What? <laughs> I meant, like, you know. 
Well, because he would have told her like she's from these clans of Tabaxi, and so she was flipping. Yeah, and she knew she couldn't. She also knew she couldn't talk, and she would have had a way to communicate before. And then she communicated. Like I said, I'll, I'll allow this. I'll, I'll allow this. 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 This meta game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hear one last distant spirit of die. I can still hear her now. Hey, meta gaming would be then also me flipping to another entry and making a point to talk about it, but I'm not. So. There you go. No, that 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 would also be that doesn't make this any less. <laughs> Whoa! There's tangible cause. Hmm. I stand by it. I mean, you're wrong, but that's fine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Well, now you're um, from looking over the maps, were there any like identifying places that are like not super far that we'd be able to like kind of like. Uh... <laughs> just dunes dunes and sand and it's literally and like distance I, I say it feels like oh, it's the cairo effect of the city right where it's the pyramids and then cairo is literally like one street across like you can walk from the edge of cairo to the pyramids and it's like yeah, five yeah, minutes yeah. it's that like hey, here's this big industrial city also that's the fucking wasteland is literally there so i mean Kalzir is kind of like isolated uh yeah. it's not much like directly close to it but there's a lot of just yeah. like Shit. Pretty, pretty, pretty do. Sandscapes. Uh, and stuff. And stuff. We can just like to... Pretty sandscapes and stuff. Pretty sandscapes. Yeah, just you know, obviously, you're probably busy and, and... Like I said, it doesn't have to be today, but maybe before you go, something you... Uh, I know... I don't want to. Like I'm some kind of professional. Links, but... It really sucks. People die, and feeling like you have things that you wanted to say to them, but now you can't anymore. No, it might help if you say them anyway. Place or ceremony dedicated to them, and it might make you all feel a little less miserable. She just like looks at. <clears throat> I I did my own little ceremony when I found out. I'm personally at peace. But I don't mind doing another one. But we'll do that another time. There's any time to prepare. And it's how about we aim for the day after or tomorrow? Give us a bit of time. We can get some supplies together. We can make a. Rather than a. Time of passing, a celebration of Dagon's life seems more fitting for her. Because you want um, her soul now rest. Is Cast no? Oh, no. <laughs> We don't really have a reliable way to contact her. And I'd rather do it face to face. Because it feels like a bit... maybe. Well, that's what I'm saying. We have to prepare some things. No, you didn't say that. Enter. We can get the police ready, that. and I have an idea for something. Yeah. And then we can do a ceremony once Kess is back. Because we also need Kess to get her body. Weren't they well. like. Besties? That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going oh, she's gonna murder us all. Oh, d d there's... Uh, Just get behind Brooke, she'll be okay. Oh, that's not going to... St I feel like that's not going to stop her in any way, shape, or form. I, I think we sacrifice Brooks for the greater good while the rest of us... If anything, it's... Yeah. It could work. Anyway, um, <clears throat> what time are we thinking of getting absolutely we... shit-faced? Uh, well, I need to get some stuff done in the city first. We need to go and to when does the, the Empress... tavern stuff start? It's pretty much all day, whenever you guys are ready. Oh, We need to go talk to the Empress. Oh. Well, that sounds exciting. Yeah. It's not that exciting. It's going to be oh, us. She has been keeping a secret from us and everybody else as well. That's true, but you know. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, you uh, don't, don't know. Worry about it. Uh, Jack, shut up. Jack, shut up. Jack, shut the fuck up. Jack, well, Jack. Celestia's all right. Yeah, no. Jack. No, Jack, shut no, up. No, 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 Jack, just Jack, Jack. And I'm like going over to him like, Jack, shut the fuck Literally, up. Shut the fuck the up, old man. Literally, the secret implies everyone doesn't have a right. Are you having right. an affair or something? One or two's yes. heads, three and four's tails. Called near, Lazarin. Huh? Called near. Oh. Uh, you know. <laughs> no, Even not baby. Heads or tails? Uh, heads. Fuck. All right, Jack, Go. shut up. Let's go! He's done. He's done it. Damn it! Read like a book. And I'm like. So let's see what's kind like, of like. Like, look at look at Jax and look at the Lazarin. <clears throat> well, luckily later today we're all getting shit face, and he won't be able to shut you up the entire day. So you have plenty of time to tell me. Don't. I was just now my babysitter. <laughs> no, no, no. It's unless it's like gives a Celeste like a glare of just like. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, it's a drop this shit, like, hard look. Just, she's kind of, something uh, needs to be known. She's kind of, like, looks up and, like, rolls her eyes. And, like, okay. Listen, I'm just really like, You're happy to have some people around me to have fun with, right? Because those gith, really cool and really smart, not Boring. really the fun having kind. Uh, they seemed a bit, um, very business oriented. Serious? Yes. Um, More than me, and that's impressive. It was the first week. Um, see, they don't. They didn't really understand. Well, obviously, they were from a place where time doesn't really work, right? Well, they didn't understand that after sixteen hours of talking about the same thing, I was like, "Hey, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Let's pick this up tomorrow." They all looked at me like I insulted their bloodline. Like, how oh, could I tired? step away from? Well, they do, but. I don't know. They didn't... They're on our plane now. Surely they would also be tired yeah, after 16 hours. Yeah, they that out the hard way. <laughs> they, they, they just, they, 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 they're just... They're really motivated and really hard workers. But, um... Fun? I don't think there's a... I don't think they have a word in their language. Yeah, not the people you want the in the party. Fun. That's right Should there. we get them drunk? No. No, we shouldn't. I'm just glad to be kind of taking a break from them for a day. Maybe two that's just that could be fun no. imagine the chaos you know how many people they'll probably kill oh okay get her a pretty feisty man and <laughs> like feisty business oriented boring boss pretty feisty man what the hell they're, they're raised to kill <laughs> like they 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 that's what they do they get yeah, well shot out of whatever they they hatch from their eggs and then they get raised to join the army of, of Blackith, and they're just kind of, they ride dragons? Do you know that? You hear they're that, Devian? Not a fan of Feisty, this one. Yeah? You know, I almost had a pet dragon once. That sounds like a horrible idea. Oh, dear. That's what they said. Well, if you raise it, right, we could have ridden our own dragons. Yeah. I really missed you oh. guys. Mm. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have a bath before we go see the Empress and get changed. I don't want to say anything. You need one. Yes, I oh, know. Brooks. Um, little little you, little brother. There's a lot of similarities. Um, little you. <laughs> he... Did your school run little me? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Even though you don't look like each other, there's a lot more. You guys have a lot of. You're both a bearable asshole. Number one. <laughs> But if that was all that we needed to be anyway, similar to um, he, you know, he stayed here for a little bit, but I think he, he kind of got, he's a bit of a, he likes his privacy and didn't really oh, feel yeah. like getting, that he got that here. So he, um, he moved out. He rented a, 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 a room at the tavern we're going to. Um, so he'll probably be there too. I feel like you guys maybe not have not seen each other in a while, and that you were, you know, doing your thing. Oh, it's been like uh, about a week since I saw him. I know that you 
die since last he last heal. Based on a drag. Fair. Fair. Mm -hmm. I'd like to hope that he'd assume the best of me, but <clears throat> Oh no, you know he does. Uh, yeah. Um I, I will meet you guys at the uh Empress's. I do have a little place to stop at real quick beforehand. At okay. this point, I I thought I was the rude motherfucker. Not one of you has done introductions. Oh, this is the previous siren who led people to their deaths. Fell. Uh, She's short for in a way, but I figured working with us now. Gotta yeah, go. I'm not fucking and remembering just... that. Then go with Thel, like the rest of them. That it's works. fine, I'm not going to use your names anyway. And why would you? Yeah, mine are better. Do you have Aren't names they? for everyone? Oh, of course. Oh. <laughs> I'll go around the table, so... Uh, going my order of uh, Discord screen, so... Sparky, money bags, big blue, points at you, Brooks, muscles. I still don't really understand Sparky. I feel like that evokes lightning more than fire. But How do you sure. start a fire in the wild with a spark? I'm just saying. It's just my personal feeling about the matter. Fireball. Well, the only other or one I came up with was Flame Boy, and that sounds lame. Could always call that is Flint. really lame. So Sparky it is. Or, here's a thought, uh, Davian. Uh, uh, again, can you guys... No, no, no. <laughs> Are you no, no, no. Of <laughs> like <laughs> saying no, no, my name? No, no. We love you, Laszlo. We Jen's do. Out. You're about to fucking find a Lazarus <laughs> on a bridge. What? <laughs> 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 Ooh, it's bridge time. Oh, not really many bridges. There's no bridges around Calzier, bro. Sorry. He's gonna fucking make one. <laughs> He's gonna construct <laughs> a bridge. Yeah, hey, I can help nothing. you with that. Uh, Laszlo yeah, on a bridge I, and I mean, uh, why would there be a bridge? There's and, no rivers. And right. fell in the water, luring him to his fucking throne. Hey. <laughs> uh, it's me just casting Temple of Gods for the temple. It's like a massive bridge. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um... stand here, stand here by Sochellis. Consider us co-workers for the time being. Bless you. Here to help. Fuck is Sochellis? New Lord of Water. Oh, because. Yeah, the whole... Because the other one's a fucking bitch. Friendship ended with Istisha. Istisha? <laughs> I... I'm just gonna continue eating breakfast. And... Okay, well, I'm gonna go get yeah, ready for go. today. You guys yeah. handle your business and then meet here and then we go? Sounds good. Great. Finish breakfast. Are the buffs here? Or do I have to fucking yeah, trot down? Yeah. Cool, yeah. quick. Really quick, quick. Give a shit out. This little horse bath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'll be back in a second. It's just a quick bath. Seven hours later. Guys, I'm done. <laughs> if you ever guys? really want a quick one, I just like. Guys? Con Conjure. Guys? One. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? Yeah. <laughs> shit! <laughs> it's me and, classic, just me in the towel and on my phone, like just scrolling through TikTok. <laughs> Like, huh? Red stained. I've been resting. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! <clears throat> but yeah, what's uh, what's everybody what's everybody doing before they uh, head to... I'm looking for a building contractor. Brush. What? There's a that sparring room in the guild hall, right? Yeah. I remember that. Mm -hmm. They're dummies in or yeah. punchy bags in the spine room. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're in there. Fucking I am God of them. pummeling a hole through one of those. Right. I yeah. will. I'll sure. just be there, just like un unabashedly, just watching Brooks do this. Uh, and like every so often, if he looks like he's getting like overheated or sweaty, just like conjure some water, spritz him. Nice. Fucking cat. Um. Okay. So. Jax, you go around and you you find there's this large kind of warehouse 
and has a bunch of like building materials kind of like stacked up around it. There's wood, there's stone bricks, there's all kinds of materials. I didn't know uh, it was a full moon. And you can see <clears throat> kind of this a lot of people working. There's this one uh taller looking human with tan skin, no hair, walking around with a, with a <clears throat> some some pieces of paper kind of giving people uh some some notes uh, kind of looking around seems to be somewhat in charge um excuse me sir good morning um i'm looking to procure some marble um okay um i have that but uh are you Typically, the people that come here don't really come here to shop for materials. It's, uh, we get hired to construct things. If you're looking for a place where to buy building materials, well, depending on how much you need, if, you, if you're if you looking to, I don't know, build a house on a plot of land yourself, I can point you in the right way, but... Yes, I, I just need the raw marble. Are we talking exactly? Roughly 3,000 pounds. Mm, it is a lot. If I inquire why so much marble, seeing as marble is pretty expensive, and you can build a lot better for a lot cheaper, huh? It's, it's throwing it out there. Some pointers, I'm, I'm ready, ready to help. Cut costs and whatnot. Well, it's not about cutting the cost. Really? Then, okay, well, it's just for a project. Secret project. Um, tell you what, the place I, you know, we get our uh, material from. Only, you know, it's it's a business to business thing. Only sell to registered uh, business in the Dalzir uh, uh, in the in the registry. You know, um, metropolitan so, area. Right. Uh, <laughs> So they don't really do, um, you know, sales to just people. It has to be a company. It's, it's for taxis. But uh, you willing to? Oh, uh, maybe uh, buy me a little bit of money. I can uh, put in this order for you, right? And you, uh, you know, you give me the money that it would cost. You give me a little bit of extra to help you out, and you know, we'll do it like that. How much would it cost? Uh, I think marble goes for like three gold a pound or something like that. <clears throat> How's everyone, Dave? Mm. Yet. Is it cheaper if you buy the marbles individually? I miss you being at work. Fuck, uh... Hold on. I don't. Uh... I am looking... Give me... A moment. Lodge. We'll, we'll consider this as lodge. Want it to be well done and presentable. I mean, it could be rough marble too. That doesn't really matter. Actually, it's probably better if it's rough. Some like it rough. Damn straight. You need. You need. How much marble do you need? Uh, roughly three thousand pounds, from what I can tell. My best estimates. What is it for? Just help me out here. All right. I want to make a statue of Diagon with a little, like, plinth thing. So I was, spent, like, ten minutes Googling how much marble I'd need for something like that. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> well, that's about, about that. Uh, that amount of marble. Just, just, just 
Does it have to be one piece, or could it be, you know? It could be multiple pieces, or you know, marble rubble. It's not a solid marble. All right. Well, for for about that much, uh, for for a think, <clears throat> you know, with the, the tax deductibility and all that, it would come down to about uh, maybe twenty five hundred gold for the whole thing. Um. It's, probably, it's, will, it's quite expensive. Uh, I'll plot 260 platinum. Oh. And hand that to him. Oh, thank you very much. All right, I'll uh, get the order in. Um, I'm not sure how long it will take, but uh, what is your name and where can I find you in case uh, I need to reach out to you about this? My name is Jackson. You can uh, find me at the um, Heroes of Exile Guild Hall. Did you say Jackson or was that Jax and you can find me? Make sure. And Jack's and you can oh. find me. Um <clears throat> Yes. Um Assume that a shipment of this size I don't know, you know if we're lucky, it might be like a a week. If we're unlucky, it might be several weeks. Um say I'm trying to reach out and you're not home. Can I just make the delivery there and tell them oh this is for Jax and they'll be alright with it? Yes, that should work. Very good. Are they done? And I will head on out to go meet them with the Empress, I guess. I think that's what they say we're doing. Right. So what's the rest of you guys doing? You guys all kind of like waiting for Jax and then going to the Empress? Or is there anyone else doing anything or shine as well? I was just going to meet him at the palace. But... Quite literally trying to put a hole through one of the one of the training dummies. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, yeah. Unless there's anything you guys want to do, you eventually you all head towards <laughs> the palace. Um, as you are all greeted main door by one of her servants, uh, he kind of looks at Thel, kind of looks at you. Cheap. She, um, she, it's the Empress Yeesh. Mel, about her. Mm -hmm. well, I haven't seen well, her Well, I'm part of the group now, Thanks. so, package deal. <clears throat> She's with us. She, we can trust her. Okay. Go allows her to go, that'll get easier to say with time eventually, I promise. Oh. No, sorry, I was just thinking about other things. Okay, that's fine. I well, um, follow me. Uh, she is expecting, uh, well, all of you minus one. Um, <clears throat> Why would you say that? Because it's true, no? All of you minus her. As in, she's expecting all of you, except for that one. Oh. What do you think I meant? Don't worry. You <laughs> kind of like... Walks up the stairs and guides you all to her, uh, the Empress, uh, <clears throat> the Empress's chamber. And the door swings open. You can see her sitting on this gilded chair with a dragon head above her, uh, and kind of gets up as you all enter. Ah, welcome. So you bring a friend? Question mark. Oh, an acquaintance. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, let's have a seat <clears throat> and um, let's do a little catch up. And she kind of like waits for you all to sit down, and then she sits down on the chair at the head of the table. So you've come back. <clears throat> um, am I correct in assuming, given the absence of Dragon? Worst has happened? Yep. Very sorry for it. We, as are all of you, but are very brave. Sorry that happened. So, um, tell me, you, uh, Take him down. 
We wouldn't be standing He's here if we hadn't. It's probably probably true. Did you Did know? You learned anything? In any information that we should I should be aware of and the others as well. Did you already know? What? About Valor. Sorry, I don't think I'm following. Insight check. Hey! Mm, and this man is the insight <laughs> king, so... Let's go! <clears throat> wait, hold on. Oh, wait, Dutch never said, mind. Because what Dutch said earlier has me back to my tinfoil hat theory that it wasn't uh, Tiamat we saw, or it was Empress's golden mask lady, because all Dutch said was, you told her, you said Tiamat, and she didn't correct you. He didn't say she said she confirmed that's who she is, so... It's Laura, only... Laura tinfoil hat theory. <laughs> I hate that I've rolled so shit because it's only a 23. Only. That's a but 7 she, on the she dice. Dragon, though, so, That's a 7 know. on the dice. I have plus 16. Anything above oh, 10 is I'm pogging. You know what so I mean? Sad. So like... uh, She is very hard to read. Yeah, shocking. Of course she is. Uh, mm. She seems genuine. Okay. I'm so fucked off, dude. Plus 16 is useless. <laughs> um, so when were you going to tell back. us? How you want. That's your dragon. Oh. I expected you to find out sooner, Jax, given that you're supposed to be the intellectual of the group. What gave it away? My guess being, is another being, dragon. Being told by another dragon. <laughs> that does make sense, yes. Well... I didn't really see how knowing that detail about me would give you any form of benefit to your quest, so I decided against sharing my secret with you. It's a useful bit of information to know about an ally, in the sense of it could have been quite helpful to have a dragon on our side. And it's quite Nicole, we weird for you to hide it. Another one. <laughs> Hiding it almost makes you seem... Guilty. Or something. I understand that she narrows her eyes now. at you, Jax. Oh shit. Arrested. In Guilty jail. of what? <laughs> I, I don't know. It just seems like a weird thing to kind of leave out when we're going to kill dragons and you're a dragon. And I, I understand that you're a different kind of dragon. Use your words very carefully. But what what Jax means. Saying, what Jax means or is... Or did you forget, dragon or not? It's how she was. I don't mean this as an offense. There's no... Yeah, no, I just... We it's just a weird have thing a lot to of trust issues. And lots happened. I have... been nothing but an ally. Implying any form of betrayal is... offensive. I have welcomed you into my home, giving you a place to stay that no one except a, a couple of well-checked people of my staff know about. I've given you help in the form of information. I've given you help in the form of supplies, discounts. So, what you're telling me, Jax, is that all means nothing because I didn't share the fact that I have scales? Well, I didn't see any of that. Hold on. Could Actually. I insight check her? Does she seem genuinely offended? Or like... Or worried someone's on the right track? <laughs> defensive. <laughs> make, a, make an insight check. <clears throat> or winding a Natural up. one. Oh. She looks pissed. <laughs> oh, God, so excited. Shout out the James and Laura dice. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> she looks I, I, really I, I wasn't implying anything. I didn't say anything like that. I'm just saying it would have been nice to know that we had a dragon behind us. As well as in front of us. When we're hunting other dragons. Not that you would stab us in the back, but that if we really needed your help, we had... It's... What's the word for it? It's not like godly help, but like 
kind of. It's also in. I don't know. Ancient dragons and gods seem different... very clearly powerful. A different perspective to something that us, that we wouldn't have, but you would, considering if what we have been told is true, you have been here a while, and you you have seen the things and the changes of this realm. The knowledge you have would be useful. We apologize if we've come across too hastily. No intent was made from the words we are damaged and broken at the moment that's for sure see the thing is besides the fact that i am a dragon i am also an empress lest you forget which means i carry out besides this avenue that we're in together I have a lot more responsibilities as well. I get reached out to, to to aid you in this quest by my emissary. I oblige. I agree that you are important. But let's not forget that prior to all of this, you were just people. I mean that in the nicest way possible. And people tend to... So not only has this been a test exercise of you guys learning to trust me, that works both ways. I didn't know who the hells any of you were before you first set foot into my home a couple of weeks ago. So I apologize if our first meeting I didn't lead with, oh by the way, I can breathe fire. Quick, quick aside, as you finished that monologue, it just started thunderstorming and this massive, <laughs> really, boom of thunder, Jesus. and it was so dramatic! Holy shit! <laughs> thunder in the desert. But yes, I'm a dragon. Now what? Yeah. Nothing, what? just good to know. I Everyone, get it. actually, I was, I was curious. Thinking. Do you have, like, your own group of dragons that you, like, help, like, the human world survive through, or...? Kind of like doing the opposite? Well, given that I've been ruling this empire for the past... Oh, yeah. Well, I know you do it. I was just wondering if there was, like, more dragons. Or if well, there were, like, the more of a good one. The, the, yes. Um, there's a lot of good dragons out there. See... <clears throat> Tiamat. Bad. Evil. Chromatic dragons. Nine and ten times. Bad. Evil. Because spawn of Tiamat. Metallic dragons, however. Good. Loving. Caring. Interject themselves in society and help it flourish and rise. Find themselves in positions of power more often than not. And, you know, the Bahamut's good. That's the key difference. It comes to dragons. The colourful kind tend to be bad, tend to not mingle with society, except for the green ones, uh, tend to not mingle with society, and when you see one, you run. Metallic ones tend to not really reveal themselves, as they just kind of like living alongside among people. Only reveal what they truly are to a very select few people. Do you ever wish you were human or elf or anyone else? Not really. Huh? I'm a dragon. Plus, you know, changing to human, zero out of ten. Don't recommend, personally. I can change into whatever I want to be. You know, I use this kind of this blend of elf and mare of... What is she? We are... Getting off track. Hmm. Um, you real devil. But she kind of like. <clears throat> so anyway, let's get back. Brixoth is dead. Good. Brixoth was Valor. This whole time, that was the form that he took. I am 
very sorry. I don't know the extent of how important he was to you, but I do know that you've known him. Well, you thought you knew him. I can't imagine a betrayal of that level. I still have the memories of Bella. Can't kill those times, even if they weren't real. Just been dead for longer than I thought he was. And I'm assuming. Damn. I'm assuming, given Dagon's condition prior to her death, there's nothing done. Powerful magic, but even then, it might only just free her soul, not even bring her back. Something beyond my capabilities. Are you saying you know someone that can do this? Who, me? Yes. Well, I mean, if you don't know someone, then no one does, because you're literally the most powerful person on yes, this landmass. kind of got distracted by getting a little insulted. I went to my oh, house. Oh, no, absolutely fair. Getting, 100%. Well, not getting accused of anything, but, you know, very backhandedly kind of suggesting kind of riled me up. I apologize for so you are the newest member of this collection of individuals? Arquois. <clears throat> yes. Uh, sent by Seychellus to help. I heard murmurs of was rain outside. <laughs> the heard murmurs of uh, the political changes that are happening among the elements. Well, I trust you've been brought up to speed? Yep. Uh, had a very, very long lecture. Felt like I was in school or something before I was sent here. But yes, been given, as far as I'm aware, all the important bits. Background info. You only had one lecture to sit through. I consider myself lucky. I would rather have broken it up into maybe two or three personally. It was a lot, but... Welcome aboard, nonetheless. Obviously, I extend to you the same things I've extended to your fellows. A uh, place to stay, if you need anything that you might aid you on your you know, hunt. Let me know and I can see what I can do. Um, yes, welcome aboard. These are very strange times. There's a lot happening. So, given your success, it's, um, next, any idea who you're going to chase after? The Zog, I think. Well, I don't, I don't know. Well, I guess if Kess shows up, then we could probably go after... Better. Yeah. I was just thinking, but I think if what they say is true about just how the dragons are, we both are going to be a fucking bully. There's some important artifacts in the horde of not pale cut of Nazarg. What? Nazarg? Nazarg? Yeah. We should do that one first. We should do that one first. Do you know? They told me the drug. Well, I sort of overheard. Why does that concern you that we might have that information? Oh, Davian got captured when they're trying to capture me. Oh. Yeah, actually, quite a few people died and then came back. It just only stuck for one of them. It was very, very disastrous. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, no, that doesn't concern... Well, it does concern me if they claim to have some powerful artifacts. Um, that could be banned. So that might bump the Zarg up the priority list a wee bit. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Mm, right. Fuck it, you know. Sorry. I'm trying to All find right. my bookmarked page a... where that one was. 
Um, so Nazarg, as we know, after he tore up Eldilon with his acid, um, we're going to venture into some strange lands. Lands people from these continents have never been to before. As he resides in unclaimed territory, Agrin, north of also Lake Udina. We have to go back to Agrin to deal with him. North of Lake Udina, in kind of swamp. Oh, good. I'm actually rather excited about that, to be honest. If I could, memory serves me right, didn't you make some friends, in Lake Udina? Have you you've been before, we, right? We've been there previously, yes. You, those people you helped move away from that lake. Second. Mm-hmm. Shame, because maybe they could have helped you carry your cross or something. Um, so yes, the safest way to get there from would probably be to cross Lake Udina, because it pretty much takes you into the swamp right away, instead of traveling by land, which would and be more dangerous and have you cross more um, unclaimed land with no one knows what to expect, as well as it would just maybe quadruple the amount of time it would take for you to get there. But, um, might have an idea. Maybe. I'll pull some strings. I'll, um, I'll arrange transport for you to get across the lake. I'll just need a day or so to Talk to some people. Or is your transport back to Aldilon? Well, as far as we we're aware, the dragons have vacated the city and people are still there. A couple of council members, I believe, are also there, kind of coordinating the rebuild <clears throat> of the things that got destroyed. Although we are unaware of, you know, the amount of night webs that reside in city, so if you do choose to, you know, return to Eldilon, travel to the lake, and then cross it, be very careful. Assume everyone is free. Probably the safest. Perhaps it might be worth even avoiding going to Eldilon altogether, until all of this is settled. Or until you have more backup and Speaking of, I meeting Ooh. last night with uh, my emissary and some of the council members that did make it here. General Kron, you freed her from Rixoth's lair, right? Yeah, that was a tough time. Um, her yeah, she um, not look. We, um, yeah, she, that, I, I feel, you know, she, yes, she betrayed the Empire, right, given what she did, being double agent, whatnot, but, you know, looking at it in full context of her family and all of that, I do feel bad, because I tend to be a pretty okay judge of character, and I feel like well, the betrayal would not have taken place if they didn't have leverage, you know? I, th I feel like I truly believe her when she says that she kind of felt forced to play along with Nightweb's plans, which is why I'm planning to give her a pardon. But I do know her better than me. What do you think? Oh, uh, look, whatever torture she sustained in Brixos Lair should oh, more yes. than make up for whatever sentence she might she she might serve. I mean, I know you probably, you know, but I mean, she was she was killed and revived multiple times before we found her. 
I, I, I think she deserves some sort of retirement. Yes, and we, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that happens. We'll, we'll give her a place to live here in the city. We'll receive an official pardon. Uh, we'll make sure that she's well taken care of. Um, as far as the family goes, um, I don't know where they are. She didn't want to say. She said that she took care of that, and that's all she really had to say about that. Hopefully, with time, she can be convinced to let us, you know, let let the let me or any of my people know, and then we can try and reunite them. But yeah, she uh, really barely looked like a person. Right with her, really bad state. No. Just another... Yeah, I mean, that's... That's, Perhaps the, maybe... that's the kind of thing that leaves scars you can't really heal. I mean, really... Maybe future benefits plan for employees of the Empress involve copious amounts of therapy. I know some people here also probably could use it. Trust me when I say that I feel like I could use it. <laughs> My long time of doing what I do... Well... A lot of shit has hit the proverbial fan. Just a few decades ago, there was this big goat-headed devil that tried to break out of the hells. And just decided to use our We heard world. about that! Yes. See, the people that stopped that are in a very similar spot as you are now. Sitting at my table, talking to me, discussing plans. Funny how history has a way of repeating itself. I'm sure you've observed more than enough repetitions of history in your time at the helm. Oh, yes. So. I think, uh, you know. Maybe it's time for it. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you could retire as well. It's tempting. It's tempting. That's, that's why I hired family all Be my emissary up, up north and see how she does, and then whenever I'm ready to move on from this to something else she can take my place um you could always move to a more democratic society where the people could vote so the council there's a lot of <clears throat> yes but um anyway of things happened i suggest that you take a few days over I will let the others know that I'm basically going to order them to leave you the fuck alone for a You can truly kind of cover Fine. and some, some fun. We can only They're hope welcome to bother the... me if they want. I have, you know, yeah. less trauma, so. Yeah. Well. Less trauma so far. But you did drown a lot of sailors. I not mm. recently. See, I don't. A long time ago. Really like the name they that that, that you introduce yourselves as the ragtag fuckwits. But the more and more we spend time together, the more and more I feel like. It also, is I'd like very to say, hitting. we don't technically introduce ourselves as that. It's just well, the one of you surely did. Then you me. Who loves me? Yes. Anyway, um, if there's anything you need, let me know. Um, I'll arrange a meeting with the council and some higher-ups within the of Exile in a few days. Mm. Wait for the summons, I suppose. And, and for these next couple of days, just uh, the minor things. Maybe for those that are so inclined or so in attuned with their designated elemental patron, Catch them up to speed as well. And Davian. Hmm. Ask the Sooth. That's your designated being. Sure. Ask them if any artifacts that might have gone missing across the plains of the Elven. That's not concerning at all. That's just a little bit concerning. Well, 
with them with you saying that there's these artifacts that they are guarding no, I, I don't heard remember exactly what whispers but I want to verify whispers before I mm. so if you mention basically if you mention oh there's some artifacts missing and Kusus give you something gives you Probably means yes. That means that the whispers that I'm through, then we can start worrying about that. But for now, just results. Results. It's, it's all I'm asking. You know, we we just we. Okay. Well, I was gonna say just what we needed. One more thing to worry about, but well, it, it, it all culminates in the same thing. But basically. Yeah. Okay. Listen. It is. It was this. <clears throat> years and years and years and years and years. Like we're talking mm. a long time ago, way be way before even the Orcus situation. There were these, 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 these. There was this a thief to break into anywhere, in any place. It doesn't matter the security. He would find a way in, take his loot, and disappear without a trace. For one thing, he always left behind. A rose. Kind of his tail. To this day? Tuxedo mask up in here? <laughs> no idea. Who it is? No idea where they went. Probably dead right now. But there was this story. He came from one of the elemental planes and stole an artifact from each of the elemental lords at the time. So, Kosuth, Stisha, um, you know, all of them. Pretty much, all, yeah, all of them. Um, I thought it of a bit of a story, you know, a rumor, it makes for a good play, even. If... But given, you know, just, 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 just for my sake, I find just ask any true story I don't know why but I just have yeah. a feeling that some rose adorned bandit has been stealing artifacts from the dragons somehow Came across them? <clears throat> Anything's possible, but... We've seen Stranger Things. I'm just... It's just, I for haven't. some reason, I, I don't know. It, it, it... I feel like nothing is a coincidence when it comes to this stuff, you know? So I just, if it turns out that those artifacts indeed did go missing, then at least you can learn about them. Then on the off chance that they are there, you know what they are, you know what they do, and if they are used against you, you know what they do. How to potentially avoid them. Mm. It's just a lot of things happening regards to this elements versus the dragons thing that kind of made me stop believing in coincidence altogether, you know? Yeah, I suppose that's part of the scary thing for us. But, uh, it, it, it seems like the more we do and go through, the more it's revealed to us that we didn't really have any control over our own fate. I mean, it's a little bit scary. A little bit, I don't know, existential. I mean, I feel like I had control over mine. I just regret my choices. Yeah, but then there's the well, argument you could make of you had to make those choices to get to the position you are today, right? Oh, I really didn't. See what I mean? I mean probably be distracting sailors still. Yeah, and look how much simpler life would be. 
says that to Jax. I don't think wants. Anyway, thank you for bringing me up to speed. Apologies once again for mm. perhaps getting a little offended that I like to have been. Take a few days. Summoned for a meeting with the others and please relax. Get some uh, reserved time off. Thank you for the time and um we'll see you soon. No. Last one to the bow and leave. I'll do She'll little, look at like thing. wait for you all to leave. And then as you all are all the door there's just about oh by the way, Jax. Yes. And she'll just kind of like let out this like lick of flame out of her mouth. Gives you like this this, this, so this cool, very man. shitty smile. Then goes about her business. Hmm. So what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I mean why would you say that? To her <laughs> face. Say what? <laughs> the one, uh, the one person who could fucking uh, run us out of town. You're a dragon. <laughs> Makes you seem guilty. I, <laughs> am I wrong? I don't, I don't know. See, fuck it could what she does in her ways. spare time. I'm torn because, on the one hand. It's the opposite. It makes her seem not guilty because you find out she's a dragon and she's letting us, like, kill her kind because she knows they're bad. So on the other hand, it makes you trust her. On the other hand, why are we killing? Like, shouldn't she be on their side in this coming war? It's very oh, easy. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, we've killed plenty of humans and, and tieflings and, like, nobody gave a fuck. But how come I get shit for killing so many humans when you've killed plenty of them? Funny. Well, because the humans that we killed were, like... Oh, bandits, or um, or bad or evil people. sorcerers, or a lot of cultists. Uh, well, and a lot in, of the ones I killed were criminals. In Brooks's pirates, case, just some guy at the pub, but you know. <laughs> well, the only people here that have killed an innocent person, Davian and Lazarus. So, hey, Lazarus, you... I guess that makes three with you now. Though. Wasn't technically. No, and Lazarin, you killed him. I didn't kill him. Well, mm -hmm. well, you were part of it. No. You no, did force him at seven. sword point to get frozen. Which did not kill him. What did I miss? I wasn't here for this part, so I can't tell you. Oh, I forgot Brooks was at you. Uh, nothing. Brooks, don't worry about it. All I'm hearing is the sound of hypocrisy, personally. I'll be so. honest. Oh, uh, Brooks, didn't know Lazarin also has a people. lover in the Feywild. That's true, I forgot about that. <laughs> also, wasn't yeah. the Feywild? It's in the Whispering Ruins, you fucking idiot. Whatever, same thing. <laughs> it, 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 so then you look same thing. Both yeah, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> one, one of those, like, both, the bro. lines are a little blurred. Yeah. Are you also the Whispering Woods is basically the well, Feywild in the primary commitment. Oh, no, this was an insane man in the forest and it had to be the first one they saw. And they were apparently spitting with me and... Well, how do you know he didn't single you out from all of us? Okay. He was still insane. <laughs> and maybe he just believes in love at first sight. Good for them. Couldn't give a fuck. Let's go drinking. I you don't want to go shopping. I want to go fucking drinking, Jax. He I mean, wants I to thought go he was going to leave it as I want to go fucking, and I was going to laugh really hard. Hmm. Last one doesn't do that. He's married to his hand. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column That's B. That's boring. <laughs> I am just going to walk to the pub. I'm like, I'm just gone. 
I'd like to really stop at the Magic so. Emporium. Don't you have to tell? Don't you have to tell your other friend first? Your Triton friend. You have to go get Celestia, bro. Oh, Devin, go fucking do that. Uh, meet me at the yeah, bar. Yeah, she's, she's meeting us. But she said to tell her. Like, she said to go back to the guild hall to get her. Yeah, get her. she's meeting. Yes, yeah, she's meeting us at the guild hall. Oh, yeah. I he we wants going to go to straight to the, to the pub. I'm yeah, going straight to the pub. Yeah, Elijah can fuck off to the pub. I'll go he get can go pick, He whatever. can go pick up his girlfriend. The rest of us will go to the pub. I was like, Jackson, because doesn't look like he should be left alone. So I feel like someone at least has to go with him. That's funny. You you, you learn quick. <laughs> you catch on very quick. I like to think so. <laughs> so Jax wants to go shopping? Yeah. Okay. Jax, you need a yeah. chaperone? Have I been stabbed in the back or attacked by my lonesome? I'm more just worried that you'll forget where you are. Technically, I neither of those things have happened to me. Got that. <laughs> so. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I'm also not the um, uh, the captivation of a whole cult that is worldwide. And you sort of are okay. now. But... I'm going to make this easy. That's my association. Neither yeah. of you are going <laughs> off on your own. Thel, we're on babysitting duty. Which one are you taking? I'll take sad boy. Oh, I'm not money bags anymore. Back. I'm sad boy. What an sad upgrade. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Elazarin just walking through the streets of Eldalon with fucking suicide boys in his, in his so AirPods. Yeah. Avril Levine playing in his ears. <laughs> Avril Levine. I'm just listening to complicated. <laughs> No, I'm better. You're just listening. No, even, oh, yeah, no, even better. You're listening to I'm With You. Her, like, movie oh my song. god. <laughs> uh, you know, it wrong matches to Hello Kitty because, like, I want to hate myself even more. And it's just like. <laughs> He's listening to Had a Bad Day. Okay. So, yeah, for team bad. shopping, let's just uh, that, hey? Yep, yep. Uh, yep. Jackson Brooks, you head to the Arcana Emporium. And oh, decide... I have money. No, you don't. Uh, but besides no, so dragon does, money, the usual. He don't have dragon uh, money. Um, I don't have dragon money. But... Oh. Besides the usual, you know, potions and whatnot, uh, and all he sorts. He doesn't know of, we have uh, dragon money. Sizes, colors, and variations. Kind of go around the shop, and there's a handful of items that rest or that 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 strike you as ooh. Oh okay, yeah. Okay. So the items that are in stock, the magic items in stock right now. Are a bowl of commanding water element, uh, a yellow diamond version of an elemental, a pair of eyes of the eagle, a headband of intellect, a yellow stone of fortitude, a ring of spell turning. Spell turning? A robe of the Archmage. Ooh, that sounds fancy. A ring of X ray vision. A robe of scintillating colors. Ooh, that sounds pretty. And the Dragon Queen. Uh, okay. Let me just pull up all these fucking things. Yeah, yeah. Can I, like, uh,. As you're kind of like looking at those items, shopkeep kind of approaches you. Do you need help finding anything? Um, slightly just browsing, but also as I was here to check on um a potential helm of teleportation. Um. Oh yes, um, I was I was told about that. Um, it's in the works. Uh, I just thought I'd check. Um, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> which, one, which one did you read? The Dragon Queen's Cloak? Yeah, it's fucking nutty. Um, yeah, I, I can't afford that. But Wait, so you can change it to a different color as a bonus action? By expending which a Which lets charge, you change yeah. the resistance to damage type. Sure, but I mean, you have so many. Like... Oh no, you can use an action to do it for free. That's even better, honestly. Um, a breath weapon and a fly speed. DC all of these. 17? I think all of these. That sounds fancy. Actually, the Dragon does. Queen cloak is. Uh... <clears throat> 
I'll just read it out. Cloak made from the wing of a powerful chromatic dragon. Its attached Ooh. spaulders are decorated with winged designs. Black, blue, green, red, and white gemstones. While wearing the cloak, you have advantage. Relation checks you make as the fury of the dragon makes you all the more fightful. In addition, you gain a flying speed of 40 feet. Uh, and the cloak has five charges. Gains all charges daily at dawn. One charge is chromatic. All charges. Sh one ability is chromatic shift, which while wearing the cloak, you can expend the charges bonus action or do use an action to do it for free to change the color to either black, blue, green, red, or white to what match a chromatic dragon. And when you do so, you gain resistance to the damage type associated with that color. So red, then you get resistance to fire damage. Black, then the acid damage. That's cool. The cloak also allows you, when you expend two of the charges, to uh, breathe, use a breath weapon, essentially. Fun. The damage type depends on. <clears throat> yeah, it, it depends on the color of the cloak. So, fire breath, acid breath, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it also gives you an ability that you can spend charge for terrifying glare. The reaction charge when you take damage from a creature that can see you within 60 feet of you. They need to make a saving, a wisdom saving throw, and when they fail, they take psychic damage. And when they die, this sounds it's like lit. so. I'm like I'm looking up like half these that I remember that like sounds cool. The spell turning one, it's you basically insane. get advantage on any spell that single target ta at, like uh, uh targets you. So like yeah. anything like Tasha sees left or whatever. If you, yeah, if you not, and if you roll in that twenty, save you just it, the, the spell just. It hits. As long as it's 7th or level. Uh, the spell is 7th or level. Yeah, 7th level it's or lower. It's 8th or ninth. If, if the spell hits, it just gets reflected back to the caster. And that's and cool. And it uses their spell save DC and everything. So if they're a 6th spell caster, that's actually insane. Mm. It's a basically um, a D&D much... Uno reverse card. How much are those? Just out of curiosity. The have... Dragon Queen's Cloak is 120,000. Woohoo! Oh, I got if a Dragon Sword and I still can't afford it. Yeah, oh, dragons shit. hold for dragons. You, we'd have to use. Did you hear? We'd have how to use four people. Ridiculous. I know. I know. Shit. I know. I know how I say insane it is. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, four of us would have to pool our money to be able to buy that. Just saying. And I think even then, I don't know that we have enough. When I priced this, this was a well. If they pull all their money together and just buy one thing, they can. That, that is they the whole intention. Yeah. Got you. Yep. Got you. Got you. Thank you. Um, how much would that Iun stone cost me? Uh, Twenty. <laughs> Thousand. Sorry, I'm just like reading what it actually does. Oh, it has a D. The fortitude. So it's. Yeah. Uh, so it's two percent. Ups your combat. Constitution two. increases by two to a maximum of twenty. That could put me to. Would put me at twenty constitution. Just a. A stat buff. It's a little. Buff, yeah. Requires too many dice. Um, you have the other ones. Like those are the only ones I can think of, like off the top of my head. To look up. The what? Sorry. Uh, can I get like the list again? Uh, oh boy. X-ray vision. Robe of scintillating colors. Robe of the archmage. I know what that one. But that one's another hundred twenty thousand. Wasn't this? Hundred thousand. <laughs> it's all hundred. That's less. That's crazy. That's only hundred. Uh, headband of intellect, eyes of the eagle, bowl of commanding water elemental, yellow diamond. Can uh, I'll, I'll I'll send you a list. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm just like I just started reading the scintillating colors robe. Uh, I'll give you the price tag. What color elemental gem was it? Yellow diamond. Yellow, diamond. yellow yeah. How much was that gem again? Sorry. The gem is on the He, he just put the, he put the stuff. Just put the price tag, so. Okay. okay. Um, if you want to go and do their stuff real quick. I'll... Uh, well, I was thinking getting close to end times. So we might as well just see if oh. people, you know, can buy anything and then we can kind of pick up next week with boys getting together to get. 
to get your face. That's it's it. so <laughs> tempting to get a headband of intellect. Ah, oh, dude, I think that's good. <laughs> smart Brooks sounds terrifying. Smart Brooks. <laughs> smart Brooks. And learns to make his own explosives. It's oh, all intelligence, no, no okay. wisdom. So all intelligence, I, no wisdom. So I could afford the Robus in leading colors and be left with 300 gold. I mean, not terrible. Robes and Clear the is pretty fucking cool. The name no, alone sounds real fun. I just, a part of me is like Circle of Intelligence. Fucking hilarious. But like, Brooks wouldn't give a shit. Brooks wouldn't be like, yeah, I want to buy that and be smart. I'd be like, nah, fuck that. Yeah, of course you would. Basically, uh, when you use a charge, anything that tries to attack you. And it has the potential to stun. Dude, the bolt would also be pretty cool though, because it means we could basically always have a water elemental every day. Oh, I, I mean, I like the gem, but I mean, I could also Dude, make the gem, you water. Do? I can make you water elementals. Uh, it just water summons elementals. an earth elemental. Yeah, but this yeah, is one that it's a one-time use though. Yeah, but it's cheap. The and I'm like poor. That's true. It is cheap. It is cheap. It is cheap. I, could, I could I could sell my pistol. S I have so many magic items that never get used. Bro, do you ever just when not was max. the last time? When was the last time Dutch hit me with a, a ranged spell attack? Fucking uh, never. Dutch. Hello. I'm not seeing K Tom's. Oh, I I it I can it's, read it. It's um spelled wrong because it's co. It's K. Oh, it's K Tom. My bad. Yeah. Oh. So just type in O when be... it comes up. My bad. It's a uh, AOI. It's, it's an OP heal. It's a heal. Yo, Tom. I, I want to buy some of that. Two D eight plus two. Plus so that's basically ah uh, yes, yeah, so that's that's basically the same as like my little spider already does. Um. Hey, Dutch, can you start hitting me with more spells so I can use Dagon's amulets? Present more often. Like another yeah, fact, bro. So that I can target you with spells, Ethan. Thoughts? <laughs> I don't have to be here for you to target me. Yes, because when you're not here, Brooks is not here, motherfucker. Because I refuse. You know what really hey, sucks? I booked weekends off over the next month to hang out with you guys. So. Aw, cute. Maybe. Bro, I I would love to like save up for the road to Arch Magi, but I also oh, know right. it won't matter for me since I use my arcane armor anyways. So it's just like. It just doesn't really work. Plus, my dex is terrible. There's, some, they flavor, sell there's some flavor here? text on the Dragon Queen. Of course there is. Yeah, I did see that. While while I'm thinking about it, do they sell bullet? Uh, yes, but it's very limited supply. How many they got? Property bad. Uh, they have about forty. Forty. Or zero. Uh, how much are they charging? Two gold a pop. Two gold a pop. Are you low on bullets? Yeah. Dog, I have like. Hella black. And by well, no. If you got a bunch of bullets, I won't spend money then. But not like twenty. I'll oh, fucking yeah. I'll just take them. I guess. I'll if, take them. Like I, it, if Jacks offers it as in, like Brooks is looking at buying bullets, then I won't say no. Yeah, I've got. Do you use pepper box ammunition? No. Oh no, I need diff I need bullet Modern? bullets. Modern bullets? Uh I have both. For destruction? Apparently. It takes well I I use when I added it to my inventory I put musket bullets. Because I don't think Dutch specified. Uh it's because bullets are bullets. Yep, yeah, I mean Pepper box is normally like the little. Okay, so I have 51 bullets though. You have what? If you need some, I can. Yeah, I'll just give Brooks my 40 bullets that I have. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, wait, they're out of my inventory as well. It said you gave me 20. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna hold off buying anything today, I think. Mm -hmm. Because I also need to run something else by you this week. Okay. Something that's occurred to me. 
Because I'm not sure that I, I don't think I'll have enough to buy the robe of sins on the covers after that. So, gotcha. That's, don't that's tell me. it was a hundred per dose for the ointment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have we have my spider that does ten like that basically per day. So. I mean, it's cheap compared to healing potions, and it's pretty oh, solid. Oh, actually, our uh, what's the yeah? What's the price for healing potions? That's a good point. Actually, I, will, I probably. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ah, dude, too many things to buy. What's a, a superior is 44 plus 4, right? No, that's no. 84. Oh, greater that's great. is 44. Yeah. yeah. Right. So how much, is eight. A, how much is a greater healing potion? Greater like, healing potion is 50. about 250. Yeah, so you're, you're getting like an average of two points less healed, but it's less than half the price and it cures poison and disease. Sure, but you can pop that as a bonus action. True, but yeah, the ointment it's you cannot fucking... like the ointment you have to like. It is an action, yeah, but it's not. A, it's not a potion that you can just fucking. This is this this is the the rule of the split between action, bonus action, full heals, roll for heals doesn't apply for the. That's is, fine. Yeah. I mean, subject to it's still, it is. like having a disease poison cure about pretty pog. Aren't you not able to take disease anyways? As a you also have one of those. No. It's called a... Uh, yeah, what if it's you, idiot? Oh no, I could cast on my fucking self. But also, we so have hero weird. I also mm. can get rid of diseases. They can cure all diseases, so... Oh no, I'm diseased for a day. But, uh, I'm, gonna buy, guys, I'm gonna buy know, this and use it to cure Kessa's uh, dad. Now that, now that Look, the, the, the shop list is there, you know, you guys have a, a week to think about, you know, what do we do with yeah. our money? I would Welcome say back. that we, uh... Uh, fast forward, you guys all convene. Uh, Celestia got picked up by Davian. You all reconvene in front uh, of, uh, uh -huh. or like down the street from the hog's belly. And you can already the see as you approach belly. all of these decorations throughout this whole street. Some like market stalls that have been moved into the street that are seemingly selling all kinds of different foods and snacks. And there's a lot of people and a lot of drinking. Uh, we'll pick up Hell drink. yeah. Hell yeah. Ready for shenanigans. Shenanigans. Woo! I'm Ready. so tempted to buy bum 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 bum. Found a wasp. Put it in my bum. Smart Brooks. Terrifying. Menace. It would be really Absolute hard to roleplay for you though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Rough, man. <laughs> All right, thanks for Still watching, everybody. Still my rectum, now my bum hole. Dutch did it funny. I did it funny. I do that sometimes. Uh, Dutch is ready for we'll bed. We'll be back next week. This vod will be up over the next few days. Watch the last week's one shot. It is on. Check it out. Fun time. If you're watching, casually watching Dungeon Select for the past six years, there might be some callbacks in there. Remember? Um, check that out. Here, Sunday for session 99. Nice. Something weeks. really cool better happen on session 100, otherwise we're all just a disappointment. We, yeah, we, we didn't even have a character death on 69 this year, though. That's when I have a TPK plan, and then we can start prepping for C3. Woo! Let's go! And then we're a nice round 100 episodes for the campaign. You know, it's a, it's a perfect time, actually. Exactly, exactly. And before <laughs> we ruin it, and we all TPK from alcohol poisoning, next session at 99. I'll fucking oh. fly to Canada and <laughs> ring your neck, Laura. <laughs> I'll fly to the UK and ring those three's fucking neck, and then I'll make a pit stop at fucking whatever shithole. I feel like at. if anyone's <laughs> gonna <laughs> die from alcoholism, then like for Brooks, it's sort of in law. Like Brooks can't wanna... die though; he would just keep no, healing. No. Like, Brooks just gets healthier yeah, and healthier true. You, the more. Do you want to be fucking Wolverine? Yeah, it's like only only once, of the only trucker. once a day. It, no, it's like it's like fucking Deadpool, where like he has cancer and he's dying, but because of his healing factor, the, the cancer keeps healing itself. But but it's always there; it keeps coming back. It always, it's always there; he just gets healed. I mean, I do have a disgusting constitution, so I feel like even though you're like drinking heals you, your liver, bro, your liver. It's it's, it's, it's taking a actually, beating every day. You know what I mean? He so he doesn't actually get any points of healing from it anymore. It's just that's the only thing keeping his liver alive. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for I watching, everybody. Liver. Check Thanks for playing, really guys. Hope you guys enjoyed a more, uh, you know, a more, a more chill episode compared to all the shit we've chill. lately. Chill. Chill. Well, nothing tried to kill you today. Well, the Emperor's sure. almost wanted to kill Jax. Really. 
Other than that, I would never imply anything. Lol. Um, see you next week.